Hey guys, Fear back again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 13th of April, 2022. Mage Tower. <laughs> I've got some work to do. I hope you enjoy watching the VOD though. If you want to catch us live, you can follow along at twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama. If you tack a slash schedule onto the end of that, you'll get my stream times converted into your time zone. Super convenient. Uh, and if you're feeling generous, go throw me a follow over on Instagram on Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok, if you'd like as well. All those links are down in the description box below. I hope you enjoy watching the VOD as much as we enjoyed uh, doing... Look, it's fine. Enjoy! Hi. Sup? What's going on? Let's start some captions. Captions, captions? Yeah. All right. Good. Hi. Who's ready for me to embarrass myself in front of the internet? Boogie down. Good. Wonderful. In we go. Wait, no, do I want that one? No, let's get this one. Hello! You look you. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm running a bit late. I had um I had an email come in. Uh, that was incredibly important. Well, I think it's incredibly important. When you guys are able to be told what it is, you should also probably think it's incredibly important. But I just, I had to answer. And I did. This is very exciting. I hope you guys are happy about this. I, I really do. Um, all right. I actually have no idea how this modern version works. I'm assuming I just go down there and do it. But maybe not. Time walking. All right, it's time walking too, isn't it? I'm assuming I just go down there, and I just go in, and it's done. Get it done. Get it, dude. Let's find out. Let me catch up on chat. Ah, uh, well done, Sheba, on the <laughs> first. Ah, uh, <laughs> too quick. Calling the cops, nice to know you, Shiva. Oh no. Oh no. It's the title, everything was still learning. I thought she was live. Yeah, I, I did. I refreshed the title and then it was like, ah, but I'm like, mm hmm. But no, I, I was absolutely running late. And it wasn't because of technical issues today. It was because I received a very important email that I'm been waiting for. Remember how I said that I had a meeting last week, like a, a, a call last week, and they were going to be emailing me early this week? I, that's the email I got. Um, so, uh, yeah, and they want to, they want to proceed. They want to go to the next stage. So I had to, I, they asked me for a quote. So I gave them a fucking quote. <laughs> so that'll be One of our interesting. We'll see what they say. The we'll see what they say. Trying to figure out how much you're worth is really hard. And, and trying to ask somebody for what you think or feel that you are worth is immeasurably difficult. Um, trying to peg it to a range and then asking for the top of your range and all this guy, like it's just, the whole procedure is a, a cluster truck of the mind. And uh, look, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, but yeah, so that was a fun time. I apologize for being late, but I promise you it was important. Um. Uh. <laughs> uh second with K, congratulations. She fucked up. Indeed. <laughs> uh, dear. Zam with third. Fantastic. And hello, K. Hello, chattel. With thread. Fantasmic. And last for chaos. Hello, I'm doing very well, thank you. I hope you're also doing well. I was feeling a bit dodgy, honestly, for most of the day because I woke up really late and I struggled to get out of bed and there was just this whole kind of, I felt like I had that cloud hanging over me. I just wasn't feeling great. And so I didn't get a whole lot done today. I got what I had to do done, but like no more, no less kind of thing. Um, so I was just kind of feeling a bit uh, And then I got this email, which has really kind of perked me up a bit. So that's good, that's good. Um, and thank you to all who are contributing to the Gold Making Stream Challenge. Brilliant. The end blast this time. Hello, Icy. How are you going? Hello, hello. You're always ready for that. 
Yeah, embarrassment. Hello, Tony. Excuse me. Nice throwing map. Mm. It's the one that was chosen on Monday. Um, I kind of just leave it as is until the next one gets chosen. Unless I'm like, no, I want to. I want to use this one. Some some of the mounts are just like really big, or the ones that fly around like this just irritate me to no end. So if that's one of the ones that's been chosen, I pretty much as soon as stream is over, erase it and go back to ashes. But if it's one that I don't mind, or that's one that's not too big and doesn't fit through doorways and stuff, then I'll I'll just leave it. My important email you say, indeed, indeed. Um, hello Lander, doing well, how are you? Well, fantastic. Yeah, I saw in, in chat, in chat, in uh, Discord, Shiva, my goodness. That's, um, that's lots of stones. Thank you, Chaos, much appreciated. Uh, hello, Stellaris. Welcome on in with your first time chat. I'm doing very well, I hope you can say the same. Thank you, Chaos. Well. bit bill later, oof. Ouch. Ouch, Smana beat you last stream. Indeed, like the soaring sky terror. Uh, that's her favorite. There we go. Uh, there we go. Done. I can take that off now. Brilliant. Because my favorite use for my characters, fire mount for fire mages, like logic and stuff. Yeah, I mean, my, my favorite mount is absolutely ashes. Uh, if I can spell it correctly. Uh, my favorite man is absolutely Ashes, but it's just, it's just gorgeous. Um, but there are some very nice, just because it's my favorite doesn't mean I can't acknowledge that there are some very nice mounts in the game speaking of mounts. Uh, my makeup today, you can actually, oh, uh, it hasn't translated quite as nicely as I would have liked it to camera, but that's okay. There's only really one color that's not showing its proper potential. <laughs> Um, so I've got like a dark reddish sort of brown in my crease. Like it's, it's definitely brown, but it's also like reddish and russet and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the outer corner, I have a bit of black there. Um, on my lid, it's orange and it's like fiery orange. Speaking of fire, it's like fiery orange. And then in, in the, in the inner bit here in the corner, I have some silver, which is also not quite showing up as much as I'd like it to, but that's okay. It all blends really nicely and like kind of goes from one to the next really well. I'm, I really like this, like this thing here. I'm very happy about it. So there you go. Um, also it is a ground mount and I own it. It is mine. Wrote this on yourself. Yes, but I also knew that if I didn't get you guys to force me to do it, I would never do it. I wouldn't get them out. So, girl, good to hear it still. To hear it. See you have another hair color. Be interested in a bit. Fantastic. Like ashes is not so nice when ground only. Although I kind of did like how the hippogriffs used to hover permanently. Yeah, true, true, true. Hey, Ernest. Good job. Thank you so much. Appreciated. Um, and while I've got y'all, while I've got y'all, um, I got a package yesterday. Oh no, I got a package. Oh, technically, it should be like that because it's a smiley face, right? I mean, I know it's pointing from A to Z, but also it's a smiley face. They like look. Amazon. We we have feelings about Amazon. However. Their marketing team? Yeah. Like, I hope they get paid their worth. I, I mean, I hope that one day all the Amazon workers get paid their worth, but specifically their marketing team is very, very up there. Um, does that have any personal details on it? I can't tell there's too much writing on it. I'm just gonna put it down there. Um, this is... Looks like it. Look at how... Beauty, hang on, I need a, this is gonna need to be full screen, I think. Um, so very much, very many thanks to Desia has sent me, look at how pretty that is. It's, it's like, you can see it's like enamel, so it's gold and then the flowers are white and then the bits in the middle are black. It's a premium pop grip. Phone grip and stand with swappable top. Try me, pull twice to grip. Ah, yes, it actually stays out. Cause the one I have is busted. <laughs> it was. It was a PAX one, PAX XP, and the cap came off because the sides split and look, I'd had it for like two and a bit years. So, and it's not a, a not a pop socket branded one or whatever. So, but these ones 
the the pop the socket the pop bit this bit on top is interchangeable which is super super cool like super cool um how do i open you oh there's a cut oh god damn it can i open it without cutting it under yes <laughs> um but yeah this is absolutely gorgeous so thank you to desir for sending me the gift and also big thanks to throne who made it possible Throne, who made it possible. Oh, okay, so install me. Remove and discard liner. There's a blue sheet on the back there. Yes, I will show you. It, don't you worry. Um, stip grip to device, which means I need to take this one off. Uh, close flat. For, oh, so to swap, you got to close flat, press down, and turn 90 degrees to swap tops. Pry from bottom and move up. I'm going to rip this off. Um, this is because of it's broken because of the way like it's it's totally like I have to fold it to kind of I've been I've been using my phone like this for, <laughs> for ages um, so I don't know how I'm gonna get oh okay there we go nails for twer um, and now this is all gunky do I have a I have a oh my god it's this flat on the counter how weird is that I have a cotton round and I have isopropyl alcohol. I'd love that for me. Rinse bottom and air dry. Oh, these ones you can wash them with water. Can't wash your phone with water though. Go hands free with a pop mount. Perfect in your car, home or office. So they have like little things that stick to surfaces that have a grippy thing on it. So you pop out your pop socket and slot it in. That's really convenient. I might actually Actually, we have to. I'd have to check the laws in Queensland. Jas was telling me because I was saying I might actually get one for Jas as like a. I'm sure he's got some kind of thing coming up sometime soon that he needs a present for. Um, because <laughs> uh, he leaves his in his centre console in his car, but then because he's on his peas, I think he's not allowed to have it anywhere where he can see the screen while he's on while he's a pea plater in Queensland. I think that's the deal, but I could be wrong. I've never had a license. Um, and I've only ever looked it up when he's needed help with something, and then I've promptly forgotten it. Um, because that's what we do around here. Alright, so there's a little perforation, so I tear it there, and then pull out a little babby. This. This. You're welcome. Shiny. Alright. How did you break that? Oh, I, d I didn't. It just, over time, the rubber disintegrated and it split. There were little tears here and there from me popping it all the time and all that kind of stuff. Not like playing with it, but it just doing that because that's what it's designed to do. Uh, and yeah, over the like two and a half years or so, it just eventually it degraded and split. And then the cap came off the top of it because it split enough that it was loose and so it just kind of fell out. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. And then there's another one on here because this is also shiny. Oh, pretty. I was going to say, I'll take a photo of it, and then I realize it's on the back of my phone. Oops. Uh, oh, I can take a photo in the mirror. I'm very intelligent. Good. <laughs> but that that is super cute. I like that a lot. I had a, I had a bunch of it, because I went I went browsing on um, on Amazon for, for a new one. And I thought, yeah, I can pop it on my, on my wish list. Uh, and I ended up, I was like, look, there are a whole bunch that I really like, so I'll just kind of have all of them, and then I'll, like, narrow it down and pick one, and then I couldn't. So there's like a bunch of them on the thing. Yes, amazing, it actually pops and it stays up even if I just put it down with my phone on top of it. <sighs> God, it's, it, look, it's been a while. You don't realize how much you love the functionality of something until you lose it. You just don't, it, you can't. Um, It was so annoying. Yeah, I only got the mage, the fire mage one back in the day because I was just like, nah, that's enough. I don't care. But I want the mount, so I didn't really care so much. Back then, I gave zero craps about transmog or anything like that. Didn't care whatsoever. Um, but now I'm kind of into transmogs, but I've always, always loved mounts. So, yeah. Kind of can't help myself. <laughs> Would land ill during the day besides inclusion of streams again? Aw, thank you, Lando. I hope you feel better soon. Amazon, yes, Amazon Australia. 
There's no way I was picked up a new laptop to replace dead one and has to do the everything. Oh no! So fun fact about WoW is it doesn't need registry changes. So if you ever, if anyone here ever has to replace anything again, be it a laptop or a desktop or whatever, if it's a desktop, move your entire WoW installation to a drive and keep that drive and plug it into your new desktop. If it's a laptop, get yourself an external or even a thumb drive, depending on how big you can get it. Um, transfer from your, like your program files folder, the entire WoW folder, thunk, onto the thumb drive or the external or whatever, replace it and then just plug it back in, copy it straight back across, done. That's it, finish. I love, I've always loved that WoW has had the ability to do that. There are just, it doesn't, I mean, I'm sure it does probably mess with the registry a bit, but it seems to be able to do that. Like it, it almost seems like when you run the program, it can check the registry. And if it doesn't have the things it needs, it just does it and then launches. I, I don't know what, I don't know how, I don't, I'm not a, I'm not very good at that side of techie stuff. I can build a PC, no problem. Ask me how it works, NFI. Um, <laughs> but I know that WoW works like that and it always has and it makes me so happy because I've changed like from laptop to PC to another laptop to another desktop to another desktop and it's just, it's never been an issue. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Perfection. Um, but I hope it sets up nice and seamlessly for you, Meaty. Good morning, Miko. Uh, I got my computer last Friday, so I don't think about all my add-ons. Yeah. Yeah, copy-paste, baby. Don't bother with that. Copy-paste. Uh, Mighty Warbear. No. Hello, bloody. Yeah, it's so cool. And it means I can have, like, a bunch of them and I could, like, chop and change them whenever I like. I mean, to be fair, if you have a look at my throne wish list, you can see that literally every single one of them is like black, white, and gold. It's almost like I have a thing that I like. What was- is that 50%? Holy cow! But we only just started Wednesday's stream. Oh my god, you guys must really want to do like a night of lacks. Holy cow, okay. Well done, keep going. Uh, so you're saying we can tell you secrets and they'll be safe because forgotten. Pretty much, yes. Unless they're like super, super, super juicy. Like if I have any like intense emotion associated with it, then I'll remember it. But like for the most part, nah, forget. I can't replace it, just like, nope, yeah. And lo, it says on here that you can take it off and you can wash it. Clean me, rinse bottom and air dry. Like apparently you can just wash it. So like I could just pull it off and go again. And oils will wear out certain materials over time also, yeah. Yeah, especially like rubbers and things like that, yeah? Like certain certain types of uh, plastic and rubber, the oil just kind of erodes it. You're absolutely right, Sol. And you know, that's probably, I mean, I've been really, really bad at using hand cream and stuff, so maybe not, but I know our skin does also just generate basic bitch oils anyway, so. There is that. So four years now migrated to new phone, nice, awesome. Well, hopefully I won't have to replace this one for a while, but I mean, hey, having some alternate tops might be nice. Match it to my outfit. Although, can we just? Can, can we just like, yes, please. And thank you. Like the, the high, the high waist and like the buttons and stuff are just, and the, yeah, I like, I'm happy. And I got my, my, uh, my half, half high pony. I'm feeling it today, you guys. Makeup and outfit and everything. I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling it. <laughs> ah, I get to have big brain. And my pinky. Is there a spare part? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh my god, hey, isn't it crazy? So I've done every time copy the whole photo over to launch that's where it was. Exactly, it'll be like, we can't find the game. Please point us to where it is. And it's like, there. And it goes, okay, cool. Here's your wow. It's great. It's great. Recreate any missing reg entries required to run. Amazing. Thank you. I knew something like that was going on. I knew it didn't actually not require registry because every program does, right? At least one or two things here or there. But yeah, copy paste. Um, I might have done the transfer, have my laptop not gone. Hi, let's play WoW, dead forever, lol, oh no. So the data should have still been on the hard drive though. You could, you can get it extracted. Like if they crack open the laptop and pull out the, the hard drive, you can put it in its own little enclosure and use it as an external hard drive. Um, but obviously that is a little more techie than some people might be comfortable with and that's totally fine, but for future reference, you can absolutely do that. Even if a even if a laptop won't start or boot or run or whatever, you can usually, unless unless the hard drive is fried, obviously, but you're not gonna know that that's the case until you actually try running it as an external. Um, 
but like even then you could have like you you can pull it out of the laptop put it in an enclosure put it in an enclosure and plug that into a nearby local desktop and see if you can access the data and then hey presto done um but yeah it's it's fun it's fun laptop by an enclosure 20 but yeah without your old drive exactly uh again yeah, that got my issue apparently so apparently so still doing a shower Moved out of my SST, can we just be an aura for aesthetic choices? Aw, thank you, Landa. Beast Lord's Warwolf. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I had to double check because I forgot the name of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you got it. Go Sheba. <laughs> What's your number? What's your number? Uh, okay, so am I, do I... Take me to Argatha. Right. I'm guessing that there is a wowhead guide that's going to say, here are the seven things and here are the classes that can do them. So I can read down the list and pick the one I'm most comfortable with, right? 29? Love it. All right. Your game today is American Fugitive. I don't know what that is. But I hope that you enjoy it. It sounds interesting. It sounds interesting. Congratulations! Fantastic Beast Lord's Wolf. Uh, seems like something we added up. Wouldn't it? Doesn't it? It doesn't it, Kay? Exactly. If you had to pick between another pop grip, bunny hat, or mage mug, which would you choose? Okay. So. Another pop grip would be very cool. However, I do have this one now, and so maybe the other things would be more beneficial to me overall, right? Like getting a duplicate of something as opposed to, even though it's a different design and I'd love it and I'd adore it and it'd be amazing, I would still obviously be super, super fucking grateful for anything and everything, right? The next one would be, like, the next one on the list was the bunny hat, right? So the bunny hat, the idea behind that, I'm not sure if you read the note there, but um, it's for chair. <laughs> it's for chair during noble garden so when noble garden's happening in wow chair would have a cute little bunny hat on the problem is noble garden's really hella soon like literally it's next monday and i don't know and it's only and noble garden unlike some of the other events that go for two weeks noble garden only goes for one week so there is a pretty decent chance that the bunny hat wouldn't arrive until after noble garden was finished and i'd have to wait like a whole ass year to be able to use it and so that's that's kind of sad. That makes me so sad. Um, so I and mugs. I mean, I have a ton of mugs. N not a not a ton. I have probably enough mugs. But also, can you ever have enough mugs? I have been trying to drink more tea lately, and I feel like having a fancy new mug with which to do it might. Because I have a really gorgeous, like gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous teacup but it holds like 150 to 200 mils. And sometimes you want a, like a big mug of something. And so like, you know, and I've got a few really cool ones. I've got one that I had from PAX. It's a, I think it's, um, I can't remember what the characters are. I think it's Gabe and Tycho, is it? Um, what, it's, it's one of them and the mug is cool, but I got it from PAX, that, that was cool. And I've got another one that's got Blue Crew on it because I have a blue microphone that they, they gifted to me. And so I'm part of the Blue Crew. I've got like hoodies and everything, it's amazing. Um, and they sent me a mug as well, uh, so I have that one that that's really cool. Um, but like, I didn't, I didn't like pick either of those, if that makes sense. Whereas Mage, I absolutely picked and someone linked it and I'm like, oh my God, I need that. So that's why that's on the wishlist. So I think out of the three, I would probably lean towards the mug. I overthink everything. Thank you, Sheba. One moment, please.
go. Brilliant. Cool. Sorry about that. Um. Secret answer D, all of the above. <laughs> oh, Shiva, look. If I if I were not grateful. a Oh Soul! Thank you so much for the mug! Oh my god, that is so kind of What the fuck? What is that? Oh, I know what's happened. I know what's happened. I know what's happened. They've got a new notification thing for stream, and I think it's got both of them, and it's not. Um, I don't, th and I think it's tried to play both at the same time. I think that's what's going on. Um, oh dear. Also, that the um. There we go. Much better. Okay, let me turn. Let me save that one. Good. And then let me turn this one off. Good. That was loud. Um, oh, that's right. It doesn't let me change the alert volume on the... I need to change it in here. Oh, no, I know what it is. It's... Set it to that and see how that works. Awesome. Yay! Sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the gift, so Much appreciated. That is so... Oh, gosh, excuse me. That is so generous of you. Thank you. Oh, I'm so brilliant to collect the useful and visually pleasing. They are, especially when they're, like... So I'm... I'm a bit of an interesting person when it comes to like memorabilia and like fan stuff, like fan gear, if that makes sense. Um, I'll, I'll get a t-shirt, I'll get a drink bottle, I'll get mugs, um, like a wall hanging at, at, at times, if it's like, like not just the, like if it's something actually beautiful, like that it's artwork inspired by rather than just like the logo of something, um, then sure. But I'm not... I'm not huge on stuff that just sits on a shelf unless there's a really personal connection to it. So I've never, not once, have I gone out and per just bought a, a displayable thing. Like, ever. I've been gifted them, and I love them. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely freaking love the stuff that I've been gifted because I have a personal connection. Like, there was a person, and they gifted... They, there is this individual who gave this to me on this occasion or for this reason or whatever, and that connection makes it more valuable to me. But if it was just something that I bought and stuck on a shelf, it, I I don't do that ever. So like mugs as like collectible items from different fandoms and hell yeah, because you can use them. They're literally a thing that holds stuff, you know? Like, yeah, it's, it's awesome. I like them a lot. Love my mugs, have a whole cupboard full by myself one about once a month as a nice cheap treat to myself. Oh, I love that pet. That's so beautiful. That's the helpful. <laughs> oh, I was serious long when I said give mug please. Well, no, I, you know, I overthink everything, but I also wanted to explain my reasoning why. Like, James Today report as well. Yeah, me too. Thank you. That's what I was spending, like, you know, the, the however long doing, because, nah. Nah, we're not here for that. We're not here for that. Uh... No, you know, it's totally fine, Meaty. Not a worry. How is the new laptop? How's it going? It's adorable. Some high. I have five four sets. Oh my god, Jack! <laughs> Good job. Well done. I don't know if you were often as long as I'm still want to support. Oh, thank you, Sol. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You too. Have a great one. Good afternoon, Drama. How are you going today? An Illidan pop vinyl? Oh, cool. Super adorable. I do have a couple of pops. I've got the Dark Phoenix one that she sent me, and I love her so much. And I've got several baby group ones. <laughs> I have several baby group pop vinyls because it's just me. Like, <laughs> I, I, I like baby group. He's adorable. 
this new room is better support is legion and i love that i love that like i would absolutely any day of the week take over uh, take a like small connected like small connected group of people as my community rather than like hundreds of thousands of people like do you know it just i yeah i like the connection thing okay down 12 minutes for i finished work put the day in the bin yes drama you do that i'm so proud of you you can make it you can do it 12 minutes you can do this well gave me a tear on every tune Why the sun? oh my god jack well done mate thank you so much for the sub much appreciated thank you for your support 13 months jesus christ like this week ever uh yeah yeah jack yeah it is you're never gonna get it again <laughs> um waiting for the sylvanas nitro to arrive shoot myself a birthday she was on pre-order yes but no wagon oh brilliant drummer i hope you're enjoying yourself i hope you're having fun i really should get one Influencer. I feel pretty lucky earlier when I merged giveaway to get five stickers and pins from an artist. <gasps> Congrats, Shiba! Amazing! Congratulations! Okay, so I know I've played for years, but I've never given the Mage Tower a thought. Can I ask what it entails? After this, I'll show you. I'll show you. There are seven different challenges. However, each challenge is so, um, for example, the Mage one says, take me to Agatha, but it's shared with Elemental Shaman, Fire Mage, Fury Warrior, Unholy Death Knight, Outlaw Rogue, Feral Druid. So each of the seven has a specific set of specs that it applies to. However, if I went in and did this, it would operate slightly differently for an Outlaw Rogue than it would for me as a Fire Mage. Oh, fuck. Outlaw Rogue is how I play my Rogue. God damn it. God damn it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Zam, OP. Fade, Martin, and Silver, congratulations on all your bonus shit. It is designed as a solo experience. You cannot group as a, like, you cannot go into it as a group of people. It has to be by yourself. And it is highly tuned to your class. So you're going to have to use your whole kit. So as a Fire Mage, I'm going to have to use Disorience. I'm going to have to use Frost Nova. I'm going to have to use Counter Spell. I'm going to have to use this, that, like, there's everything in my kit. I'm going to need to use it. Everything. Um... So, and it works like that for every class. Uh, yeah, and so if you defeat it, it gets ticked off. And if you do all seven of them, you get like a set of something, I can't remember. Um, but if you do seven of them, like if you do all seven challenges, which only takes seven different specs, you don't have to do all 36, like in Legion, but um, if you do seven of them, you get a mount. Um, ever even tried Proving Grounds? Yeah, it's, it's a lot like Proving Grounds, but more complicated more specific to your class um and spec specifically uh so on this book is 110 percent worth three i haven't started it yet i've been too busy but i'm very much looking forward to doing so but i have it i have it hey matt how you going welcome back um it tests your damage, situational awareness, target priority, usability, CD use. Yes, the new laptop's going well. I won't really know if I'm happy till where I was loaded. I'm playing now, going through the whole fixing settings, etc. Does Chrome sync to my interwebs? Yes! You can kill it, you get shiny mog. Uh, and they're hard as fuck. They are difficult. They're really, really difficult. They're not designed for like your super casual player. Um, challenge mode for your class ability and knowledge. Correct, which is why I'm going to go in completely unawares. Let's see how embarrassingly unprepared Fear is for this, shall we? Farewell. Okay, Fire Mage, go. Taking bets I die in the first 10 seconds. <laughs> Correct. Jenkins. That's exactly what we're doing. So ask where you got your hoard cup. Must have. It was made for me specifically. I'm sorry. Um, so it's got my name on it and it's got the the horde logo and it was made for me i'm not a paladin correct it was made for me by a friend who does like laser cutting stuff and uh she unfortunately she can't sell them she can't sell them because because it uses somebody else's ip i.e the, the horde logo she can't sell it oh crap okay here we go why? Oh, you can't use... Oh, okay, I see. No! What 
you done? I will make you suffer. Oh, and all of my other stuff went away as well. I didn't realize I didn't buff. Oh no. No. What have you done? I killed him. My legendaries don't work either. Oh, this is poop. That's fine. I figured that'd happen, I just forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Oh. Why are you. Protect me, my children. than 10 seconds. Right, okay, I forgot about her shield. But apart from that, I was doing okay. Um, no covenant powers, yep, forgot about that. Forgot! Um. Nice class, thank you, Dan. Thank you for the imp other than tank. Jet Lanage predicts struggle with damage more than survival. I get to be that way. Audiobook is fun, this is great, but now it Yeah, yeah, I've heard that she was narrating it, and I'm like, ooh, I have to- I kind of feel like I need to get my hands on that, too. For the war command, good. Covenant powers, two minutes of survival protection, prediction. She's got it. I have every confidence, maybe not one shot. Oh, no, 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 no. I did- so I did this back in Legion. I did this back in Legion, but that was, like, four years ago. Well, not quite. So, yep. One ten seconds, indeed. Next up, specific gearing for the tower. Oh, God, no. I don't need to trounce it, I just need to win. That's it. Even if I scrape through by the skin of my teeth, like, it doesn't bother me. Uh, and I never did specific gearing for it back in Legion or anything like that. Um, I, I just tried until I got it, and I got there eventually. Thank you, Glares. Thank you. This is Chair. Chair is the most supportive member of the stream. They are fantastic chairs. They are. This is so fucking good. Of course it is. I don't even come in. Some specs feel very empty without Covenant. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It is a bit interesting. You need something? Go with it's definitely a bit interesting. Web F4 for my druid, for sure. Best of luck. Yeah, look, there there are some classes that I might need to specifically gear for, but I don't think I need to for my mage, personally. Um, hero. I don't wipe my duke's tea. Using her knowledge, my minions will infiltrate the Kira Tor. And dismantle it from the inside. I'm very glad for you. Even now, my Sayyad tempts <clears throat> your weak willed mages. Your allies will surrender willingly to the Legion. Good? First, you must be How awesome. on attack, my pretties! That. Ah! Nab! Hello! Thank you so much for the resub! I hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying your holiday. Thank you so much for your ongoing support and generosity in 29 months as well, my god. No! 
What have you done? I will make you suffer! The imps I need to break for the... Oh, right, I'm supposed to interrupt that. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting about that. These are the ones I need to kill. More imp she has around the no! power shields, right? What have you done? I will make you suffer. Interrupt this one. Oh, I'm gonna break the shield first. Crap. Now I've burned both my interrupts. Yep, yeah, okay. Alright, that's a wipe. Oh, I'm an umpty. That's fine. Okay. Um. Artifact power? That'd be kind of fun. Give us our um, uh, artifact weapons back. To the mage tower that'd be kind of funky uh, can you rank all the expansions from best to worst in your opinion with a curious to hear perspective uh, i can't uh, i've been asked to do that a few times and i've always really 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 struggled with it because i have like massive highlights from every single expansion and they've all sort of the only one I, okay, well, technically the one I would rank as lowest is vanilla because I didn't play vanilla. I started playing at the start of Burning Crusade, but from then on, literally every expansion has had some point of connection with it. And so I can't, like, I, I literally, I haven't disliked any of them at all. Um, I, I, if I had ever stopped having fun playing WoW, I would have just stopped playing. Um, so... Yeah, the reason I've been playing for 15 years is because I've loved most of it. Um, and most of the negativity that I've experienced in WoW has had to do with the other people in the game, not the actual game itself. Uh, so, and even then when I did experience that stuff with, with the other players in the game, there were other things that happened during that expansion that just like were far and away amazing experiences. So yeah, I, I can't unfortunately, I'm really sorry, but it's not something I can do. Um, uh, I'm just going to leave something to watch and relax. Decided, oh, yay, Kat! I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you, such an amazing community. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for being a part of it. I actually hope it's been a good day for you. It has been. It's been a really good day for me. Thank you for asking. I hope it has for you, too. I hope you're having a good time. Um, that lady was very hard on my warrior. Yeah, Agatha is not. Then None of them are easy. None of them are supposed to be easy. Um, but I'm getting there. I did better that attempt than I did the first attempt in terms of getting her damage, uh, getting her health down. So, yeah, we'll just keep going. That's fair. Thank you for understanding, John. I appreciate it. Tear gloves. Nice, crud. Well done. Remember, Guilty Mind did this on Fire Mage. She told me the second row talent gives you a barrier anytime you blink can be a lifesaver. It can be, but like. Uh, that's what, Blazing Soul? No. Yes. Blinking does a Blazing Barrier around you. Yeah. I mean. Last wave, that would kill most of them. Like most of the imps would just be killed by that, and the the rest of them would take one scorch to finish them off as well. But uh, yeah, double blink is. Yeah, look, we'll we'll see. I should be okay. Like I'm feeling pretty confident. The only time my health goes down significantly is when I've made a colossal mistake, um, which I've done obviously. Um, so we'll just we'll see how we go. See how I go, but I think I'm doing okay. It's when I get to the other classes that this is going to be just an utter mess. Levia's power is mine. Utter. Using her knowledge, my minions will infiltrate the Kieran Tor. Oh, right, I can't make buns in here. Inside. Even now, my Sayah tempt your weak willed mages. Your allies hey Josh, how you doing? Willingly to the Legion. But first, you must be punished, Jack, my pretties. No! What have you? 
you've done, I will make you suffer. No! What have you done? I will make you suffer. Break the shield, then do the interrupt. There we go. Protect me, my children. I will give you the power. No! What have you done? I will make you suffer. Me, my children, I will give you the power. No, what have you done? I will make you suffer. Whatever. That's about to come up and down. Okay. That was better again. Um, take it day by day, absolutely, cat, absolutely. Rotation micro won't cut it. No, it will not. Correct. Uh, you suffer for some reason. You you might say so. Yeah. You might you might say so. Light be with All right. You. Let's see if I can get a lower that was fifty-ish percent. Fifty-five. Maybe I think I got it. Got it too. 
Be careful. Same. The same for some reason. Ah, oh, dear. Late hero. Levia's power is mine. Using her knowledge, my minions will infiltrate the Kiran Tor and dismantle it from the inside. Even now, my Sayad tempt your weak-willed mages. Your allies will surrender willingly to the Legion. But first... You must be punished, Jack, my pretties! That's a voice line off, which is odd. No! Yeah, so the big done? thing is that the longer the fight goes on for, the larger her damage gets. Each batch that you kill gives her an extra 3% damage, which is not great. No! What have you done? I'll make you suffer! Those fuming imps, I can just let them get to me and then they start casting their plague zone and then I can get away. But I don't want them all through the middle, I need to blow them to the sides. They can save me a little bit of output. Well met. There. Go with honor, friend. Uh we'll see how we go. Let's see how the how other people handle it. Read some guides. I always, I really like jumping in and seeing like if I can figure things out myself. I find things a lot more fun that way, a lot more fun than reading a guide, but not always possible. <laughs> oh, free for all. Even now, my Sayad tempts your weak-willed mages. Your allies will surrender willingly to the Legion. But first. But first, you must be punished, Jack, my pretties. It's quite amazing. Oh, okay, it trades still. It's good. It's good. No! What have you done? No! What have you done? I will make you suffer! Right, okay. 
So that rock isn't actually a rock. That rock is part lava. That's fun. Oh, and I didn't use lust. I'm an idiot. You can try. You can absolutely try. Me, my children, I will give you the power. Oh well. Alright. Um. Hey, Cinders. Doing well, thanks. Hope you can say the same. The floor is lava. Apparently, even when it's not specifically lava. Just to make it happen. Oh, I'm suffering. It's fine. It's fine. Paper cut amount of suffering. Paper cut's a lot of suffering. Paper cut is a lot of suffering. Let us be honest. I have many lucky doos you like.
more contributions to the gold making stream challenge. Fantastic. Um, it's fine. Three stages you must overcome. Agatha. Let's push this button while I have a, a read. Okay. Go for the DPS when you can. Unfortunately, you can't really do it like that because the less, if you're doing less damage, the more packs of imps she'll send at you. And every time a pack of imps dies, she gets 3% more damage. So by the end of it, she's like seriously annihilating you. Um, it, yeah, not quite, not quite that simple. Uh, Silver, Fade, Apro, and Meaty, congratulations on your bonus shit. Onwards to the next one. Um, phase one. Throughout this phase, Agatha will cast low damage shadow stab at you with Agatha's Fury. Simply move out of it whenever an ad dies. There are four types of adds. Smoldering Imp, cast low damage firebolt, can generally be cleaved down after a single flame strike with flame patch or living bomb. I'm thinking I'm going to switch to flame patch uh, instead of conflag. Because uh, conflag requires a uh, fireball to be cast at them. Is there a switch? And I'm in a rested area as well, which doubly makes everything easier. Boop! Um, uh, imp Servant, Pesley spawned back of the room, run towards Agatha. On reaching her, they begin channeling a heal, stacking damage buff onto her the last rest of the fight, interrupted with counter spell, and are susceptible to all forms of crowd control, including Dragon's Breath. Uh, between one and three Umbral Imps will spawn at various points throughout the fight, channel an immunity shield, must be killed in order to attack her again, highest priority target, so it's the Umbral Imps that are doing that specifically, because she summons them with a bunch of other ones as well, and then the Fuming Imp are the ones that chase you and explode, can and should be killed in phase one, but phase two and three just move to a convenient spot and allow them to blow up. Agatha will begins, begin by summoning Smoldering Imps, Followed shortly by two imp servants. Frost over these and kill one, then the next. Counterspell or Dragon's Breath if they get too close to Agatha. Next, you need to deal with her Dark Fury, a large shield that must be broken before you can interrupt the spell. Burst this down quickly before she summons her first set of Umbral Imps. Always three at first. If these channel the shield onto Agatha at the same time she's using Dark Fury, you are likely to wipe. Continue dealing with mechanics in the same way. Priority of Umbral, Dark Fury, Imp Servant, Agatha. Phase lasts until Agatha hits 50% health. So I was really close. Use alter time and mirror image liberally to mitigate and restore damage taken when imps are out. Ah, uh, fucking alter time. <sighs> fucking alter time. Okay, yeah. I guess. Uh, alright. Let's move you out way for a little while. Shall we? Brilliant. 
it. Actually, I might put it back there because I forget to move you. Alright. I uh, recommend using time warp on the pool or saving it if you ever feel overwhelmed. Alright, let's try that and see how we go. So, Flame Strike should deal with smoldering imps. You need something? Farewell. Let's give another go. Yeah, that'd be why I had to put both files in add-ons folder. I forget. Uh, yeah, interface then add-ons. Everything, everything it gives you, stick them in there. A anything that every add-on gives you, you might as well just stick in that folder. Usually, don't give you full. Uh, um. Uh. Um. Um. Okay. We tried that again. <laughs> it balked. Yeah. Yeah, it went. It's okay. Let's try it again. Like again, again. Need help? Safe travels. Congrats! Instant kill. Apparently, I win. No, it still said zero of one. Agatha defeated. Unfortunately, but wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, suggested gifts. You are there we go. Too late, hero. She's Let back. Is mine. Using her knowledge, my minions will infiltrate the Kiran Tor and dismantle it from the inside. Book 25. Even oh, okay. now, All right. my seed okay. tempt your weak willed mages. Your allies will surrender willingly to the Legion. <clears throat> but first. You must be punished, Jack, my pretties! No! What have you done? I will make you suffer! God, why will her shield not break? Oh, because she's got the other little bitches. No, that's that's it. I can't. No. <laughs> I'm trying to interrupt her dark fear, but she's got the shield up from the other imps. No, that was terrible timing. That's never, that's never like... There's a cube with RP skip, right? It The only thing is, though, it gives you that time, that's time you're supposed to be, because they wipe your buffs and everything. So it's time you're supposed to be, like, buffing up, eat your food, pop your flask, blah, blah, blah. If you're doing all those things, that's the time you've got to do that. It makes sense. It is there for a reason. It is there well, for a reason. Light bless you. It's really right on her. Prep time! Yeah! Make sure I take one feels like a minute! Yeah! Okay, so I can get myself, of course, of course. You are too late, hero. Levius I don't actually have any consumers on me. Using her knowledge. I have plenty uh, available for rooms, but the Kieran Tor not worth. and dismantle it from the inside. Even now, my Sayad tempt your weak willed mages. Your allies will surrender willingly to the Legion. But first, but first, you must be punished, Jack, my pretties. No, what have you done? I will make you suffer. What have you done? I 
so long. No! What have you done? I will make you suffer! Interrupt. She's not fearing. Zim Zim. Why are you doing it again? Protect me, my children. Try and drop that. Oh. I'm good at managing a million different things at once. What are you talking about? The import string. Wah. Wow. Probably that time. Did I? Like percentage wise? Because I was really close to triggering a second phase a couple of attempts back. So I wasn't too sure. Right. Annoying enough. Business doesn't need downloading exactly. Something absolutely. Light be with you. Absolutely. Alright, let's be give. Careful. <clears throat> you are too late, hero. Either. Levia's power is mine. Am I though? Don't forget Hearthstone works. It has a phone app as well, maybe. In case you're into card games. And dismantle it from the inside. Even uh, Bandit? No. Uh, I have muscle memory for, from 15 years of play. Um, every time I try to move any of my spells. I keep going and hitting the L button consistently. So no. It's in a very convenient place for me. You must be punished. Welcome one in though. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh, that's fantastic. 
fantastic. Oh, I like that a lot. That's fantastic. Oh, Jesus Christ. Weak horrors are fun. Especially when you're not anticipating that. <laughs> oh well. No! What have you done? Hey, uh. <sighs> like, I know it hasn't changed much since Legion, but still. Just. God, it's been years. No! What have you done? So I used to be on a moving cast. But once my instas run out, it's like, now what? <laughs> oh well. Ah, oh dear. It's an l -take attitude. Have you never actually heard of muscle memory? Like, it's a legitimate thing. <laughs> it can take, especially when you've been doing something the exact same way for 15 years, it is really difficult to reteach your muscles to do something reflectively. It's actually hard. It's a thing. So, assuming everyone works, everyone's brain and, and bodies work exactly the way yours does is probably the, uh, the problematic attitude to have. Yeah. Oh, well, hopefully it'll, hopefully Hearthstone will run for you, Meadu. Good afternoon, Chewie. How are you going? I don't understand why it's a Hi, the sun wells. Oh, thank you for the resub. Six months, my God. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you're having an awesome day. Much appreciated. Was SFK one of the ones that was redone? Yeah, if it was one of the ones that was updated in a later a later X pack, it'll come up in that expansion's promo timeline. But I can't remember if SFK was one of them or not. There are too many dungeons. <laughs> there are so many dungeons. The laugh was for the sheep noise with the weak aura.
a lot harder now. I am pruning a lot of things in between. I know it was like practically impossible. Um, like a lot of them were, were too difficult, um, even for something that's meant to be difficult in, in the first round when it was released, which is why I didn't even bother trying it. When they first released it for that, um, however many months it was, like uh, end of last year, I, I didn't even attempt because I knew everything was going to be busted. There was going to need a whole lot of tweaks and stuff here and there. I just thought, look, I'll let, I'll let everyone do their testing and runs and everything. And, and then next time it comes around, uh, once things have been hammered out a little bit, I'll, I'll take a squiz. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I was fairly sure I did pop Arcane Intellect, um, in the prep phase, but maybe... I'm pretty sure I didn't misclick it, but it was my intention to have popped it. That was one of the things I did while she was blabbing. Uh, is a real thing. It is indeed. It's okay with change in Cataclysm, like the boss's history. Oh, so it was not coming up in the Cata timeline. Yeah, that's odd. Maybe give it a Google. It's a part of classic, but there is no classic timeline is the problem, Scarlet. That's the thing. There is no classic um, chromie timeline. Uh, and if you just go with uh, standard stuff, th that's people usually, like, if they want the classic dungeons, you have to do it through Kata, because the Kata zones are in the classic uh, classic uh, continents. Um, that's that's why truly is bringing this up as not being where it should be. Um, wait, what? Oh, no! So subbed, I thought wrong. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, yep, Scarlet, if you read again, that's what Truly is saying. Truly is in the Cataclysm timeline, but it's not coming up. Just, yeah, have a read. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's give it another go. Good afternoon. Yeah, absolutely. King's Honor, friend. Levia's power is mine. Using her okay. knowledge, How's my going? minions will infiltrate the Ah, look, not too inside. bad. I can't get past the first stage though, just because Even I suck. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's see you try. Oh, you know I perform worse when people are watching like that. When you guys are watching, it doesn't because you're not here. But like, this will be great. Hate you. Yes. I know. But. First, Shush. you must be punished, Jack, my pretties. No, well, no, 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 no. That's right, it is Jazz. Mr. Murloc face. <laughs> Go, uh, where? Missed. God damn it. No! What have you done? <sighs> make you suffer. I'm not a paladin. Why is she doing swirly as well? The Dark Fury shield is up. That's not. Protect me, my children. I will give you the power. Fuck's sake. Teleport bullshit is annoying as hell. Can you not? Seriously? Like, when I said don't, I meant it. Thank you. No! 
What have you done? I'll make you suffer. It's talking about using flame strike on those ads, but every time they're coming up, I've got the purple shit and I can't stand still long enough to get a flame strike off. Maybe I'm just killing them at the wrong times. Because I'm pretty sure her abilities are on timers, not on. As in, like, once one thing dies, the next thing it comes back X number of seconds later, sort of thing. Maybe I'm just killing them. It wasn't happening like that earlier. I have many, many wares. Stand still and fireball at them, but now I can't stand still and flame strike. It's just a bit odd. Um, it's good to be back. I'm glad you're back, Cindy. Glad you're having fun. Maybe I think the range is eight to fifty. Can only be cured if you're using crew time on the Yeah, maybe it's bugged. He secretly becomes available at 16, my main classic dungeons become available. There you go. There you go. Spaghetti code. Well, I don't think that's spaghetti code. I think that that's intentional because it's it's like an, a higher level vanilla dungeon. You know what I mean? Vanilla had a crap load of dungeons. So many, so many more than other expansions have had because they were spread across this whole massive amount of levels. So it makes sense to chop them in two halves or... or more sections, I guess. I, I don't think that that's spaghetti code. I think that's intentional, just not clearly stated anywhere. Farewells. Which obviously isn't ideal. Uh, no idea. I've got no idea. I didn't play vanilla. Yeah, so the dungeons that unlock at the same level. It's one of the issues, though. Yeah, that's that's an issue. That I definitely like open a ticket or um, or send in a bug report or post on the forums or something like that. Ideally, searching the forums, finding someone else who has posted about the issue, and adding your voice to the chorus is is like vast majority of the time the way to go. Like consolidate everyone talking about it into one place so it's louder. But you know, go with honor. Yep, indeed. Mm. Maybe I wanted to get some consumables. That's right. My output isn't what I thought it would be. Levia's power is mine. Using her knowledge, my minions will infiltrate the Kieran Tor and dismantle it from the inside. Yeah, but I would rather have 8 to 10 really cool, funky dungeons than having 30 eh, ones full of mechanics we've seen before, personally. Your allies will surrender willingly to the Legion. But first, you must be punished. Attack, my pretties! Some of the, I just noticed some of the weak horrors are like at the top of the screen. I didn't notice that they were there. No! 
suppose. Protect me, my children. I will give you the power. children I will give you the power no what have you done I will make you suffer children I will give you the power <laughs> not the umbral imp in there where is the shield a terrible alignment. <laughs> Let's see if I can grab some consumables. Oh. We good? We good? We good. I think my mini baby stream deck just DC'd and reconnected. Um. Dungeons, can you mind those things? There's such a thing as too much to do. Not sure having more dungeons than we have now would feel good for Mythic Blast. No, definitely not. And trying to get your, um, like, KSM and stuff like that would be horrendous. Ah, uh, you're in this BC with Black Rust and all the hills red. This is a really nice balance with dungeon raid amounts. Personally, also, I'm not very deep into that scene. Unless you want to be absolutely capped or only playing a single tune, I don't want to only raid Mythic Cross Grind. There's too damn much to do. Shit, no, he's going brute. So you're going so far? Terribly. How are you going? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm already here, which is fine. Look, I, I like having lots to do and stuff and exploring new new spaces, which I think is potentially what you're getting at. Like, you like going into a new place and being like, wow, this is cool! And if you've only got eight dungeons, you only get to do that eight times, whereas if you've got like 20 dungeons, you get to do it 20 times, especially like as you're leveling and experiencing like a new dungeon, a new dungeon, new dungeon. But it's like... Old dungeons were also super boring, let's be honest. Like, they were great back when they were a thing, but comparatively to today's, like, mechanics and experiences and stuff like that, they were boring as batshit. 
all the bosses had the same sort of mechanics and it was like, are we going to get a council boss? Are we going to get a stand in the thing boss? Are we going to get a get out of the thing boss? Like, you know what I mean? They're, they're all, they were like, they fell into very specific categories. Whereas nowadays you've got to fight like DevOps where like, you know, you've got a thing you have to get into, things you have to get out of, things that go in a line you have to dodge, and then you have to go grab balls and stick them in a thing and shoot a spear at her. Like there's, it's, it's new types of content. And I think that if they pushed themselves to try to create more of that kind of new kind, it, it'll just get watered down and none of it would hit quite as nicely, uh, personally. Because, you know, there are only so many man hours that they have to, to use and I don't want any more devs working more crunch than they already do. I'd prefer if they worked less crunch. Uh, zombie meaty, uh, ick, ick out? I'm not sure. Um, and Miko, congratulations on your bonus shit. Well done. Uh, a lot of stuff, it would have been old story dungeons are now instances. Yeah. Yeah, like a solo, like a questing scenario type dealie. Yep. Uh, I remember this fight where I never had a mage at level cap to try it. Yeah, this is the one I, the, I only did one mage tower fight back in Legion and it was fire mage. It was this one. Um, but it's not the same. <laughs> I mean, it is the, the key components of it are the same, but um, that was also several years ago. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm thinking I might look at, because I think... One of the things is that things aren't dying fast enough. I'm not getting enough damage time on Agatha. So I'm gonna have a look at some consumables. Just see what we can find. Uh, a lot of this, uh, you're getting a lot further into it. Holy, mostly because it's you with the limps get to just wander off on me. You need to put your bloody nameplates on, Jas. You need to be able to see which type of imps you've got. Um, That'll do, that'll like, turn your bloody nameplates on. <laughs> And extraordinarily long. So to me, some of the old dungeons had some of the trash feel harder than any of the bosses. Have you done Fortified Week? Uh, <laughs> one of the old bosses with appropriate power level had pretty fun mechanics. Um, back then they did, yeah, but 15 years on, it needs to have evolved. It needs to have stepped up and going back and doing them, it, it wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't hit the same. Into a room of 80 things. As soon as they aren't the current set, they need to be doable by people who have never seen them. Power creep makes them much easier, yeah. Yeah, I ran way too many in Legion. That was Fury Warrior one as well. I had to add get most of them to be fair. It helped me a lot to find Mage's Arcane Explosion. Really? Okay. I always think Arcane Explosion doesn't do enough damage. But I guess if I've already dropped, like, mm, okay, thank you. Uh, I don't know, places you're more of a try busy trying to kill everything else too. Yeah, but that's the whole point of these challenges is that you're supposed to be able to see, like you need to prioritize and pick what you're doing and all that kind of stuff. They were fun, but they weren't really a challenge if you knew what that mechanic did. So really well. Gorfiend's back! Grabbing all the double soccer pieces from TVC and enchanting and drums, etc. Anything out in a mythic class won't ever be difficult in the same way mythic class is with the time they were current when you had one shots and must do mechanics. Anyway, easy to remember dungeons being hard uh, because when they were current they were hard. Skill of the player base has increased ten times over the years. They were hard then, but not now because we're better players. False! Absolute, utter bullshit. They're easier now because we have add-ons. Add-ons, add-ons. That's why raid encounters have become so goddamn complex is because they're, they're programming them for a community that has DBM and bigwigs. If we can data mine how long it takes between casts and we know when it's coming, the, one of the big challenges in stuff like Classic was you don't know when it's gonna happen. You had no idea when a boss mechanic was gonna come out that was gonna do 80% damage to your entire group. And so you had to hold on to that cooldown. And is it happening? Is it happening? Is it happening? Voice line, bam, done. Everyone's alive. But like, that was the difficult part. That's no That's no longer even a thing. Oh my, I've got my cooldown up, do you want me to use it? Oh, well, you know, you've got a one minute cooldown and there's one minute 30 till that big mechanic. Yeah, sure, use it now. It's not even a it's not even a thought like you just it ha it just happens. So like the the fights are difficult in a different way. The fights are difficult in a different way. We also get a a lot more power creep these days than we used to. 
Um, so, like, mechanic dungeons at the beginning of an expansion are still difficult. When you walked in to, to Necrowake the very first time, if you hadn't have watched 70 million beta videos and you didn't know what was going on, the dungeon was difficult. You had to figure out which ones you wanted to crowd control and which ones you needed to kill first and which ones had things you had to interrupt. And all. You had to figure all that out yourself. Absolutely did. But now that we're in Mythic Plus and we've got a crap ton of gear, we breeze through because we've memorized the mechanics because we've had a year and a half to do so. Not quite a year and a half, that's an exaggeration, but almost a year and a half to do so. It's got nothing to do with skill. It's got nothing to do with being better players. It's got everything to do with we know what's coming. And it's muscle memory, like we said before. We, we know that's coming and so we're gonna hit that thing. We know that that one has an interrupt, so we just make sure that's on focus and hit the button when the bar starts moving. Like, it's it's not about being better players. It's about having more knowledge. And that doesn't mean you're playing better. It just means you know what's gonna happen when. And the best players in the world can have memory issues and not, not be able to actually retain that information and need a million and one week horrors to tell them what's gonna happen when. And people who have eidetic memory, who can never forget literally anything, can still be trash players. Like, <laughs> it's, yeah. That's my opinion, at least. Um, yeah, I've seen that as one day as well. Two, they were hard, because their internet was trash. I mean, also that, as Australian players, we had massive issues with ping. I uh, didn't have one or two mechanics rather than three or more, but often those mechanics were very important to success as much as new ones are. Yeah, but they were still a lot simpler fights. Very, very simple. Not as complex. Can't think of any shot one shots in older dungeons that weren't completely obvious and not really avoidable without stopping casting for every class. Yeah. So mind immediately, we should be luck. You remember vault? Remember had a fucking massive hitbox, nobody should have ever been hit by either one shot. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Let's, there's my stuffing things. Greetings, sir, and Lord. May I have anything ancient didn't to have any in my bag, I thought I did. Two centuries uh, do I actually have? God, that's expensive. And that's not going to stick around when I get put booted out either, is it? Because it's wiping all of my buffs when I go in, and it's wiping them when I go out. So that's going to wipe off when I zone out of the mage tower, right? Can I get a confirmation? <laughs> oh, it's because I spelt it wrong. Good. I'm like, um, excuse me. Ch no. My lord! Okay, no, that's not, absolutely not worth it. That, on the other hand. Eight in my bank, not my 12. Um. Find anything exotic, bring it to me. Hail and well met, champion. What is this? Ah, uh, farewell. That must be the time walking stuff. Okay, um. to use unbridled fury pot still they didn't say no last time it was up the guide says no guide says uh potion of sexual intellect um but you could be right i don't know I'm just following the uh where i had guide down the hill southwest okay 
to the chat debate. <laughs> Enjoy your lurk, Kaz. Enjoy. Uh, alrighty. Let's give this another try. You need something? Potion of unbridled fury. Oh no, unbridled fury. Hmm. Let me have a look and see if I can get if they're on the AH and if they're not 700 gold a pop. And we can give them a try. Have anything it's no harm, right? Needs to be at least two centuries old. Try one. If you find anything exotic, bring Just it to line, me. Please. See you next time. me thinks. Oh, when she gets to like 60 to 70 percent or so. Um so third highest or something interesting. Third highest might be why the guide doesn't recommend it, because third isn't first. Um Oh, as you hang on, you mean like on your damage meters or whatever. Right, okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, it did. It does specifically say to avoid unnecessary farming of past expansion gear. This guide will be aimed at getting your Shadowlands character through the Mage Tower challenge using mostly items readily available in the current Shadowlands expansion. Particularly powerful items from past expansions will be noted below, but shouldn't be necessary to complete the challenge, uh, though they may give you an additional edge. Please see the below guide for more information on optimizing your character for the Mage Tower challenge using past expansion gear. Um, so then there's like a separate guide for that. I'm not going gear farming. Um, um, gear methods, borrow power restrictions, gearing strategies, crummy time gearing. Can't crummy time gear. Um, oh, unless I'm grouping up with. So the whole crummy time gearing is like. Yeah, certain characters bring out or a friend to loot the pieces, to tra loot the pieces of loot to trade to. You. Yeah, that's um, nah, it's too too much. Legion gear, wrath from the thunder, yeah, benthic trinkets, agility, strength, da da da, crush heirlooms, time weapons. It doesn't say anything about old school consumables, it's just gear. That's interesting. 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 Alright, let's give it a go. Light bless you. If I ever try, you will see. Uh, I'm still running it, barely making it through the five high level. <laughs> she was just doing it. Have tear cries, most of my vine crush stuff comes from the box. You are too late, hero. Okay. Levia's power this is one. mine. Using her knowledge, my what? minions will infiltrate the Kiran Tor. And dismantle it from the inside. Even now, my Sayad tempt your weak willed mages. Your allies will surrender willingly to the Might leader. give it a try once things start getting like not while it's like the start. You must be it lasts a minute. Attack, my pretties.
me, my children. I will give you the power. No! What have you done? I will make you suffer. Oh, I'm his face too. I'm not supposed to be right. Shit. Yep. All right. Oof. All right. Oh well. I did many, many, many fuck ups there, but still got to face two. So that's that's fine. I need to move that weak aura. I need to move that weak aura. It too high. I can't see it. This bit was fine, but the bits at the top were annoying. I need to like, squish it. I want that there. That's fine. This I need here. That works too, make sure. Uh, that's better. I can actually can see it. Good! Wonderful. Um. Mm. Well, that's not going to help me with the ads. I'm not having issue with her health. I'm having issue with the ads. Um. You should be able to if you want to. Like, you got to have fun playing the game. It's a video game. Like, Jesus. Tonight. Did you have a good day? I did, Josh. Thank you. How did you? I hope you had a good day. Um, please don't backseat game. Thank you. Cool. Don't tell me what to do. It pisses me off. Um, I'm... I'm experimenting and finding shit out for myself. Thank you and... Yeah. Please don't backseat game. But welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. But I'm, I'm really getting sick and tired of people coming in here and being like, you need to do this, 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 and this, and then raging at me when I say no politely. So, I'm done with that. Cool. Thank well you. Met. Appreciate it. Uh, okay, so the Shadow Core oil sticks around, but food doesn't, and so I'm assuming that the flask couldn't either, so I'm not spending 900 gold for one fucking attempt. That's ridiculous. But that's good to know that the, um, the oil sticks around, even though the oil was, like, the cheapest one. Which is great. You are too late, hero. First tower, have you cleared other ones? I did the Fire Mage challenge back in Legion, and that's it. I've not, this is the first time I'm looking at it since it's been brought back as time walking. Um, because I knew that it was going to be an absolute cluster truck back when it was first introduced because of scaling and all that kind of stuff. Um, so no, I haven't. This is, this is it. This is all I've done. This is the first time I've looked at it. Let me bring stuff out for myself. You must be punished, my pretties! 
Okie dokie. The, the spoilers are meant to come up after you've killed an imp, not just like no. randomly. What have you done? I'll make you protect me, my children. I will give you the power. No, what have you done? I'll make you suffer. Just overwhelming, it's just too much of it. Alright. Um, I'm till then. Now it's fine, it's just people coming in and, uh, and backseating and telling me what I should be doing or what I shouldn't be doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong. It's like, okay, good. Come here, jump into my body with all my muscle memory, with all my keys where they are because of my muscle memory, because with, with my autoimmune condition that fucks with my brain and all this kind of fun shit. See how you like it. <laughs> Uh, my reflexes aren't what they used to be because of medical shit. Like, it is what it is, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Still give it a try, though. I enjoy a challenge. Especially when it's something that, you know, I'm not supposed to be able to do because of my skill level or because of my casual or whatever. It's fun. Uh, we'll get there or we won't get there. Either way. Might as well give it a shot. I'm not gonna quit after. You know, two hours of, well, actually, two, it's more than two, uh, less than two hours, what, like uh, an hour and a half? Max? Of trying. Like, ah. Ah, give it a crack. Be careful. Give it a good go. 
Make for some entertaining clips, that's for sure. Uh, human bodies are trash. I want to become a tree. Look! You are too late. Maybe if I was one of those trees that people, like, knit a scarf for. Is mine. <laughs> My minions will I feel like... I feel, oh, no, I've already got one of those. And um, from the I don't know. I think I'm too much of an extrovert to, to be comfortable being Even a tree. Now. My Maybe a cyborg. I mean, I'm on my way. Let's see if we can get more, yeah? <laughs> will surrender willingly to the Legion. Ah, <sighs> will they now? But first, you must be punished, Jack, my pretties! Ten seconds off the healing part. Ah, well. Ah, well. Made some pretty big oopsies. So that's okay. Should not make them much time. She's gonna get to play weather. I mean, that is also definitely a consideration. She's gonna try a time for quits. Honestly, valid. That would be nice. Yeah, wouldn't it? Just like someone coming home and just kind of like giving you a scarf and making you all cozy. 
How are you recovering? Ah, uh, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, the trees enslave insects and other creatures I have to constantly keep coming back. They totally aren't enslaved. <laughs> is once a week thing. Yes. Yep. Button. Na na na, na na na. Bam. Martin, Cleo, Fade, and Thor, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Builds up to once per 48 hours eventually. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Skin chest time. I still need my bounty hunter mage skin. So if you also need skins, be sure to drop your units in this battle. You cannot get the skins out of the skin chest if you don't at least pop down a unit. That's all you need to do. One unit. I would love if you could put down six, like all of them for the, for the thing, but... I get it, but just make sure you put down at least one so that you're eligible to get the skin out of the chest. Oh, and I can level up my saint. Yay! Boop. Uh, if anyone that is Horde and NA slash OCE and wants a Hiracon kill, there is a group up. Please search Hirokon Shibasu. That's with two eyes. S-H-I-I-B-A-S-U. Uh, or just type in Hirokon and look for the one that looks roughly like Shibasu. Uh, in the custom group finder, if you'd like to join. That's um, the one that drops the Deep Star Oralid. Uh, it's like a 1 in 100 drop chance if you haven't fished up the thing yourself. Entirely up to you. Um, there are some people out there I know who don't have the time to, to fish up the thing uh, or don't want to fish up the thing and that's totally okay but here is one one chance for you today because uh, you only get one attempt per day I believe at the mount so, <laughs> get some go earn it okie dokie let's let's give it another king's coat. honor friend go with honor friend See what we can do. It's munch. Not too late, hero. Levia's power is mine. Using her knowledge, my minions will infiltrate the Kiran Tor and dismantle oh, sorry, from the inside. Yep. Spend time in ZM. My Sayyad, tempt your weak will. Basically. Your allies will surrender willingly to the Legion. But first, you must be punished. Jack, my pretties! Wrong button. Mess ups at the start that make for a more consistent run the rest of the time, right? Cough, cough.
Jesus. It's just a <laughs> comedy of errors. That's okay. No! What have you done? I'll make you suffer. What? Mm, okay. All right, that's fine. I'm oh gonna just. I hit my intro too early and I'm like, that's fine, I'll just use my dragon's breath. Nope. No, she can't be disoriented. She's mean to disorient. Good. Just a comedy of errors. Oh well. Get it all out in one run, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not at all how any of that works. That's fine. Need help? It's really well. quite entertaining. Um, think of a custom group finder. Yes, if I gave you some, I would if they get one turn. Uh, when your uh, AT dart spreadsheet was in beta, I copied. Yes, uh, sorry, give me a minute. Uh, I'm like, no, no, I won't. Um, oh, the, the add-on dumps all your data in. You just have to jump onto every tune. It, it does it for you. My your hey Rice, no, definitely not winning, but still having fun, and that's what matters. But first, you must be punished, Jack, my pretties. Sorry, Meaty, um, I'm gonna have to read that again after this and give you a better answer because I'm just my brain is too concentrate. I can't answer questions at the moment. What have you done? I'll make you suffer. No! What have you done? I'll make you suffer.
done. I will make you suffer. Protect me, my children. I will give you the power. Okay, she got to like 12 or 13 stacks of demony. What's it? So that's, um, yep. Um, see, so between attempts, yeah, not too late. <laughs> too late. Um, yeah, the new version of the spreadsheet has a different tab where you copy paste shit from the add on and it pastes it into the spreadsheet. That's how it works. Um, so with, if that helps with what you're asking, then yeah, that's, there you go, that's exactly what it does. That's literally all it does, is just, um, dumps the data into the spreadsheet. Um, uh, no shiny today, one person got them out, yay, amazing! That's it. Hey, Feev, how are you going? Uh, I am, yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> Mage towering. So, however, whatever that means. No, I'm I'm doing all right. I'm outside of what's happening right this second, yeah, I'm doing really, really well. Um, Mage tower, as expected, is a struggle, but that's okay. I keep making oopsies, and that's on me, you know. Um, maybe it's a sword or something. I was like, ooh. Slowly getting better. It's not. It's really not. That's the thing. I've had one attempt that I got into phase two. There are three phases, if we're. Um, and I haven't been able to get back there since. I'm not getting better. <laughs> I'm not getting better. Um, you wanna have a go? Enjoy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The weak aura definitely helped though, so that's good. I did also forget to use time warp that attempt, so that's fun. I mean, I think I thought I did, but clearly I didn't. Uh, are you learning more? Getting more practice? No. <laughs> it's not like it's complicated. This is not a complicated fight. There's just there's like, yeah, N no. And oh no, oh no. 
Although, if you opened chat on your different other thing and you tapped the link, unless you weren't already in chat to begin with. Just unlocking the uni pattern two weeks back and not buying it. I don't know what that reference is to, but that's fine. I'm guessing, oh, is that like the, the legendary, the memory? Is that what you're talking about? All right, let's try that again and without, the, the, the issue is nano, there's no, like, I'm just messing up. I'm making stupid fucking mistakes. So there's no positivity here. I'm fucking up, yeah? <laughs> like, I get what you're trying to do, but don't. I'm fucking up. That's all there is to it. Okay. Oops. You are too late, hero. Levia's power um, is mine. Ah, isn't that a memory? Using her knowledge, a my minions will infiltrate the Kieran Tor. Or is it like a pattern to make a belt that you can honor oh, because you can put on anything, right? Even now, my Sayad tempt you. I'm gonna pop this. It comes out and then it goes away, doesn't it? Your allies will yeah. <laughs> You're like, uh uh. You're not allowed to use that here. But first. But first, must there we go. Punished, Jack, my pretties. No, what have you done? I will make you suffer. No, what have you done?
annoying. Supposed to be killing him. Protect me, my children. I will give you the power. more things right at that time, but then as soon as I hit phase two, it was just like, what? All the phase and ability, all the adds and abilities from phase one are active, but Agatha begins to teleport around the encounter area and drop Fellfire Boulder, which roll down the main pathway of the encounter. These take up a third of the room, will one-shot you if you get hit, so you must avoid them. Additionally, Fell Lava Blast will spawn underneath you. Again, move out to avoid taking damage. Avoid taking damage. The ads in this phase are still uh, the same as phase one. Priority is Umbral Imp, Imp Servant, Smoldering Imp, Passive Cleave, Finish with EOE. Then Agatha Fuming Imp explode on their own. Don't waste uptime on them. For this phase, the hardest part is when Smoldering Imps spawn under where the Fellfire Boulder are dropping. I recommend using Terminus Signaling Beacon on this ad set from range as it removes them from the fight. That's a trinket I don't have. Um, uh, if you don't have this trinket, try to have something big to use on these imps from range. Arcane Explosion is very dangerous here if you're caught off guard by a full fire boulder, but it can work if you are careful with positioning. Okay. I think that's the point at which we switch to Meteor. Mm. Hmm. <clears throat> Another button. Let's see if that helps. Apparently. Um but first, let me take a selfie. Yep, that's pretty much it, hey. Ah, oh, good lord. Luck. Best of luck. Uh, voice lines get old real fast. You're telling me. I could be wrong here, but I think she will make you suffer. Oh, I hope you're enjoying watching the stress, Fief. Hope you're having an awesome day, by the way. I don't know if I said that before. Yeah, but it's a goddamn cluster truck. As soon as it started, everything just went to crap. So I need to get better at that now. Uh, trying to choose straight up week now. I got it down to 10% until it's got too much and I died. And this is I was decent mad. Oh my god, small. I'm so sorry to hear that. Best of luck though. 10% is a hell of a lot better than I've. I, I did this in Legion. It was the only one that I did. Fire Mage. That's it. I did it in Legion. <sighs> yep. <laughs> Buttons are fun though. Mm, I disagree. Disagree. Happy time zone to you too, Red. I hope you're having a fantastic time zone. Oh. Light bless you. All right. All right. Let's go. I understand what you're trying to do with like the positivity and cheerleading and stuff like that, Nano. But please, as I said before, just, just, just no. <laughs> not, not right now. Yeah, it's not helping. Um, I appreciate it, but it's not helping. My minions will infiltrate the Kieran Tor. And dismantle it from okay. the inside. Even now, my okay, son um, will buttons are fun. I'm gonna keep up the positivity, Your even if you don't feel it. Please don't. Thank you for stopping. Um, hey, I see. But Some of fun buttons. Some of them are fun buttons, but others are just kind of annoying. Like having too many is annoying as hell. Oh! Almost forgot. Look at me go. Absolute trash. No! What have you done? I will make you suffer. No! What have you done? I will make you suffer. <laughs> I 
Okay, when she gets her shield at the same time as doing the swirlies. I will give you the power. No! What have you done? I will make you suffer. That imp not get hit by the meteor. No! What have you done? I'll make you suffer. <clears throat> for the resub oh no not resub oh my god it's a new sub rusty thank you so much for the sub hope you're having a lovely day welcome on in It's too late. I took too long. When she gets to that point where she's got the shield and all the imps that she summoned all at once, it's like soft and rage type of deal. You can, like there's no there's no coming there's no getting through that. Um That's fine. It has neutral feelings on this attempt. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> right, it's just like when you're struggling against someone and they're like, you're doing better, you're getting there, you're going great, you're doing... And it's like, shut up. 
I know how I'm going. I'm the one doing it. No. <laughs> Especially when it's been, you know, like two and a half, nearly three hours. It's kind of like, chill. <laughs> but thankfully, in 32 years of life, I know when I'm feeling myself approach the point where I get frustrated with people. And so I'm able to ask them to stop before I get to that point. Otherwise, I get to that point, I go, just shut the fuck up. And I don't want to do that. Because I like you guys. <laughs> so I'm um, um, trying to stop it before it gets to that point. I appreciate it. I understand where it's coming from. But it's not helping. As long as you guys can understand that, then we're all golden. Uh, bit of mixed Feelings this is gonna mean we can't afford that shit. I know, right? I know. We didn't Legion 2, a major was druid, it was a pain. Things you do for a sparkly cat and cool bronze dragon looking weapon. I know, right? It, look. The, the what we put ourselves through, small what we put ourselves through. Um just makes out my basic look like you do. So much shout spam. Uh going for a mount. Yeah, there is a mount if you do all seven uh major tower challenges. But if I can't even do the one for my main, then there's a very good chance I'm not going to be able to do the other six either. Um, but welcome on in, uh, Rusty Noah. I hope you're doing very well today. Thank you again so much for your Prime Gaming sub. Um, she wants you to suffer. She's asking what have you done and not how are you doing? Ah, oh, dear. Is he a kind of person? So, look, I try to be. I try to be. Doesn't always succeed, but that's, you know. It's part of being a human. Meaty, Elytria, Martin, and Silver. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus sheets. Let us proceed to the boss. They have only one way to find out, Jack. I mean, there are multitudes of ways to find out these days. You go on the forums, you can check Wowhead comments, you can try it for yourself, you can ask friends. They look. There's lots of ways, but what I meant was, you might as well just throw yourself at it and see what happens. No harm, right? Only damage to your sanity. So when I don't care about the book mount, you know, I can't do the healing ones, I can only do any damage. I just want to I need the Priest of Age set. They look gorgeous. Well, I'm glad you like them. I'm a, I'm a, red and black sort of person myself, so I, I will not be using the Mage Transmog. Um, but, I mean, I'd like the mount, and maybe one day I'll get it. I'll take a lot of practice, though. It's overrated anyway. Are you already? Is no already? Ah, uh, it's open permanently now. There's no more, like, yeah. It's open permanently. Uh, threw myself at the Holy Priest challenge. Nope, out real quick! I feel that. I feel that. I am absolutely uh, regretting my decision to make this a stream. I feel like this is the kind of thing that I'm going to need to kind of struggle through well, in my own time, in my private time. Uh, but look, we'll keep, we'll keep going. Maybe, who knows? Be careful. Maybe I'll actually win. Probs not. Probs not. Oh, you're welcome. It's, it's yeah, no, it's been, it's been like permanently up for, for a little while now. Ah, uh, fucking Jesus, she's not here again. It looks like when it only happens when I'm up on my um my yak mount, like or any of the if I'm up on if I'm up on like a vendor mount or something repair mount, and then I try I go in while I'm still up on the mount, it bugs out and she's not there. And I just wasted freaking food. You need help. Safe travels. <sighs> Good luck to you. <laughs> Thanks. I'll probably need it. By the way, do you like the tank druid Philbo one? I might try my luck once I get the sets I want. Don't really care. <laughs> like, it's I I I am neutral about it. I, I I'm not like happy about it. I don't hate it. I just don't care. <laughs> I'm glad it's there for people who want it. Even now. Let me know though, I guess. Yeah, I'll check it out on the forums and see if there's one that I can at my experiences too. Just not on stream. <laughs> I have a bit of men. Do you think it would be better than two chances? 
first. You must be punished. Attack, my pretties. Avoiding. Great. I don't think it matters, Nano. I think you just need to be who you are, and then if people ask you to stop, then stop. Like, it's really quite simple. It's not this elaborate thing you have to plan out. You just you literally take no. feedback and act on it. What have you done? <laughs> I'll make you suffer. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, what I have done is killed one of her imps. She does that every time I, like, finish killing a pack. <laughs> In case you were wondering. Um, although I'm sure you probably noticed that, but maybe if you're lurking you haven't. Okay, not when I kill the imp servants, it's only when I kill the little ones. That was the everything at once point. Ugh. Hawkeye. Mm, I'm gonna send up orders, number of Ragnarok spell players plummeted up to the end. Wave happened. Ooh. 
Much better looking on my mage. Best of luck, small. Let us know how you go. Would love updates. He has done two. Yeah, look, we'll see. We'll see how we go. So the poor imps. I know, right, Flib? I'm an absolute terrible, terrible human. Uh, only yells when you kill her favorites. Uh, did it do this? Muting the voice channel, honestly. I don't mind it too much. I mind a good look. Thank you, Shafeless. I appreciate that. Do you like my spreadsheet, hot? <laughs> hey, Espart. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How goes the tower? <laughs> Look, I knew I was terrible, but I didn't, like, I was hoping I wasn't as terrible as this, but that's fine. That's fine. Oh, I'm running out of, okay, that's fine. Uh, but that's okay. Look, I'm, I'm providing entertainment at least. I'm providing entertainment. Light bless you. It hurts. This time of night, my head always hurts. No matter what I'm doing. Always. It's probably something to do with my hydration level, but you know. Don't let that stop me before. You are too late, hero. Levia's power is mine. Why did it not? Using her knowledge, my minions will infiltrate the Kiran Tor and dismantle it from the inside. Well fed. Shut up. Oil. Even now, my Rainbow. God, tempt your weak willed mages. Your allies will surrender willingly to the Legion. But, but first, you must be punished. Attack, my pretties. I'll find it after this attempt. No! What have you done? <laughs> I will make you suffer! Me, my 
my children. I will give you the power. children I will give you the power right they do one shot it's just because I have Quora's sweet all right so I need to not be up too close to her because I'm missing the servants and I'm not noticing them spawn and then by the time I see them they're already up her ass um, to hold to make it stay square. Let's know. But um it was going great then. There's no way you're terrible playing <laughs> Yeah. So you can also turn away if I made when you go constantly killing Loves at times. Yep. Uh, have you coloured your hair again? Looks very red and shiny. Um, no, we were supposed to do it yesterday, but uh, I was dead, so probably gonna do it tomorrow. Uh, but the, it's really held onto the dye this time. I don't know what's going on. Something might have changed or something, but like it's holding onto the dye like a hell of a lot better than it has in a long time. Like even the ends aren't orange yet. You know how like eventually the, the, the ends fade to be orange and the top's still like a quite a dark red? So no, it like, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I don't know what's changed, but something's, something's awesome. Um, that's an okay comment. Yes, it is. It absolutely is, Crumb. Thank you very much for the compliment. I appreciate it. Uh, cool. So now I have a button and there's gonna be an air horn noise when my blazing barrier expires. I... Don't know how loud it will be, so let's find out. Shall we? Oh, no, I'm gonna take some pills as well, because I'm, my head's being a, a, a poopy head again. I didn't finish a tray, I must've finished a tray. Well then, it's very loud. Yeah, but like, sometimes it's not, oh no, that, it, there you go, it's half a tray, good. It's being a butt, yeah. Correct. Though I'm kind of glad that my butt's not being a head because that would be a little bit concerning, I reckon. Hydrate, thank you. So much louder than all the rest. Look, it might help though. It might help though. Let's see. Let's see. You are too late, hero. Levia's power is mine. Using her knowledge, my minions will infiltrate the Kiran Tor and dismantle it from the inside. 
Even now, my Sayad tempt your weak-willed mages. Your allies will That's surrender not willingly to the Legion. But first, you must be punished. Attack, my pretties! I'm not sure I like that. I thought it was only going to show up when it was expired. Last. Oh my god. Myself sometimes. It's not even like it was when it expires, <laughs> but it had like it was already off cooldown. wasn't too loud. I almost didn't notice it. That's a problem. I just thought it was another sound effect going off. Oh dear. the one I was trying what to kill with my bloody meteor didn't get hit. Really well, right up to that point. That moment, everything fell to shit. <laughs> I don't like this big I need to find that one. Protect me, my children. going off as well. Ah, God, I was going really well and then there was a point that everything just went to shit. Um, 
I need one. Yeah, but it's not what I want it to do. I, I want it to not be there <laughs> when it's on. Do more and more things on it. <laughs> I need to track more stuff. Must have exited through the horn. He's giving the crap out of me with it. Fair, fair, fair. Can I ask that you pause between this attempt and the next, please? Yes. I'll be back.
And I've returned, and I bring food and bubble tea. I like both of these things. I have steak. <laughs> it's the mage tower. More like the rage tower. Look, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Look, I'm, I am not, I used to be like a soup. Thank you. Yes, it's mom. Um, I used to be quite a salty person. Like my fuse was extremely short. Like I'd get angry really easily and I'd lash out and I'd get really frustrated. I never, I wasn't ever the one to kind of like smash keyboards or anything like that, but I would get very, very pissy with myself. And then if anyone tried to interact with me, they'd cop it. Um, but I reckon I'm doing a hell of a lot better these days than I used to be. That was when I was like in my early twenties. So like 10 years later, I reckon I'm a much more like chilled and calm sort of person. Uh, but this shit's frustrating. <laughs> this is, this is not, this is not easy. Mm. Chat indeed. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never done the mage tower, I think. I did the fire mage challenge back in Legion. I didn't even bother trying any others. I knew I wouldn't. I knew I wouldn't get there. Just do these hydrates and I'll tell you exactly what food about there. That's my water bottle done. Um, so I have steak. Um, I believe it's scotch fillet. Mm. Um, I have broccoli, cauliflower, and carrot. Like, you know the vegetable steamer bag things? You just go out the bag and chuck it in the microwave and it steams it and you cut it and pour it out of the plate after draining the water. Yeah, one of those. And, uh, uh, or half of one of those. Uh, because one bag is two servings. And, uh, we got a bag from Woolies that was, um, kale and spinach mix. Excuse me, and what we've taken to doing is cooking whatever meat we're having, so in this case, steak, and having all that juicy steak and olive oil and salt and pepper and all that kind of stuff in the pan and tossing in a handful of the kale and spinach and then sort of just stirring it around until it gets bright green. And when it's bright green, that's when it's done. And then it's all coated in like the, the meat juice and the salt and mm, yeah, it's really good. Really tasty, highly recommend, especially if you're trying to like increase fiber in your diet or like your greens. It's, kale is not that bad. Um, raw kale is terrible, but when you when you cook it specifically until it's like bright, bright green, uh, it doesn't have that bitterness to it anymore. It's replaced by the saltiness of the steak juice. <clears throat> I take your time, thank you. Wipe one of our smithic hundreds of times, you keep my cool, wipe a couple times and make sure I lose my shit. Yeah, because like, Dude, I feel like when I'm in a group, it's like, okay, well, such and such did a silly, that's okay. Such and such did a silly, that's okay. As soon as it's my fault, I'm like, God damn this shit. I'm an idiot. What have I done? Like, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh... It's not that I can't blame other people. Like, blaming other people makes me calmer. But no, I can justify others making oopsies. It's like, it's okay. They're just, they're just having an off day today or whatever. They're just, they're, they're doing their best, blah, blah. But if it's me having an off day, all bets are off. <laughs> I'm the idiot. It's, yeah. It's exactly the thing. Oh, Julie, you're gonna get steak as reward for finishing my governor. So, yes! Get a good steak, like a tasty, juicy one. Every mage tail wipe is your own fault, mythic raid. Of, of, often others are fucked up. Yeah, exactly. And you can kind of justify it if you've got 20 people in a mythic raid. I know you've got five people in a mythic plus, but each of those people are gonna make like one or two mistakes. That's fine. But when you add all that up, it's like 10 mistakes. Also okay. But then when it's you making mistake, 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 and you can't see other people, they're like, oh yeah, they're also, you know, they've made mistakes too. It's okay that I've made mistakes. Everyone's making oopsies. We're all human. It's fine. But when it's just you, 
over and 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 over. No. Don't want. Do not want. Ah, uh, your wilted bit and absorbs all the flavor. Yeah, yeah, and get it, like all coated with stuff. See, I used to be like that. Then I played Dark Souls. There is a very good reason I have never played a single game in the entire Dark Souls compendium. There is a very good reason. Very good reason. I enjoy watching other people play, and I'm amazed at what other people can do in those games. But me, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I know what I'm like. And I don't want to, I don't want to have that experience. Like some people, like to the point of almost getting off on the challenge and the difficulty and all, and that's great for them. I'm so happy for them. that They've got something that can challenge them in that very specific way to, to make them feel good about what they're accomplishing. That's fantastic. No, <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Life is, I'm, mm -mm. my stress levels are already too high. <laughs> Uh, generally only buy Scotch Fillet. Yeah, we do too. Um, occasionally we'll buy something else if it's like, like heavily on the special, but usually we'll like cut it into strips and put it in pasta sauce or something like that. Scotch Fillet is just so tasty. <laughs> so hard to screw up. There's something about the mage tower that causes panic mode after a couple of goes. It adds up a lot. It does. It really does. And everything you're having to keep track of, it's exhausting. And here I am having agreed to do it for six bloody hours because I'm an idiot. This is not happening again. This is, this is not happening again. I feel, this is absolutely, I have confirmed for myself this evening that this is something I need to do in my time off stream, which means it will likely get done in 2027. <laughs> uh, is that like Angus steak? Uh, no, so Scotch fillet is a cut of meat, whereas Angus is like a breed of cow. Does that make sense? Scotch fillet is like saying bicep. It's not a cow's bicep, but it's, that's kind of, rather than, yeah. And then Angus is a type of cow. Um, Source Games up for me. It's too frustrating, too casual for that. Me too. Another name for ribeye. Oh, is it really? There you go. I didn't know that. I'm just running a set path. It's boring. Uh, I don't play Dark Souls and PvP for that reason. Dark Souls, no thanks. I'm at the point in my life I play video games I want to have fun. Getting my head smashed in 200 times by the same boss does not equal fun to me. It does if I'm doing it with a group of people I enjoy raiding with. This is the thing. I loved raiding. I loved raiding. And I do, I still do to an extent. There were absolutely bosses that we sat there and we had 200 plus wipes before we got a kill. And I really enjoyed it because as we progressed, every single wipe was caused, I mean... To begin with, it was like everyone making the same sort of mistake, but it was like each person making the mistake once and then making a different mistake once and then making a different mistake once. And then as we got closer and closer to the end, it'd be one person making a really silly this mistake and then a different person making a different really silly mistake that would cost us the win, you know? But I can, I can get through that because it's like, that's fine. That's the first time tonight that that person has messed up. It just so happens that it caused a wipe. So we've got 20 attempts in a night, every single one of us has done one oopsie. Like how can I, like, you know what I mean? So raiding for me was a really different experience uh, in terms of that kind of stuff. But if it's just me, oh hell no, hell no. <laughs> like I, no, no. Don't want to be frustrated, totally fair. See, some people get really frustrated by puzzle games. And I, with me, I'm like, hmm, how do I solve this puzzle? It, it doesn't frustrate me. It's kind of, it's a different kind of fun. It's, everyone gets frustrated by different stuff and it's really interesting. I, it really, really interesting. Um, Katinos, Fade, Zombie, Elytria, Silver, Martin, Demon, Trig, and Cleo. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Uh, Scotch is a good combo of tastes and not too expensive. Correct, yeah, it's not, like if it was expensive, Jess and I would not be buying it. Let me put it that way. It's, it's reasonably priced, but really tasty. Phase one, stuff everywhere. Phase two, clap or get clapped. <laughs> oh, there's only one bonus chest for this one. Okay. Okay. And said an Aussie beef is so good. Agreed. We honestly, we are so spoiled for food in Australia. Like vast majority of people have really easy access and, and reasonably priced access to bloody good food, fresh food, nutritious food, and tasty food. And there are so many areas in the world where the food they can, the food they can get 
isn't fresh or it's not very tasty or it's simply not nutritious they can get tons of food but there's no nutrients in it like it, we are we are so lucky like, you know they say australia is the lucky country and a lot of people go Phew, whatever we really are honestly in in so many not in all ways obviously but in so many ways we are truly truly lucky to be able to like have the land that we have take advantage of it in the way that we do and have the the trading um uh, treaties and all that kind of stuff with other countries to get good stuff like good food really good food um okay collective joy of the accomplishment the collective pain of the failures makes it worthwhile yeah you're you're in it together for the most part most part. That's how we got the Shamir Moves achievement. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that was just, that was epic. That was epic. That was really fun doing the race. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Andrew. Hmm. Hmm. Freddy used to be so great, but I hated the 20-man mythic transition. Managing 20 different personalities was the issue with our guild. I feel you on so many levels. Um, I often refer to guild leading and raid leading as, um, especially like raid leading in a guild as trying to herd a pack of teenaged cats. Because if you've ever tried, uh, if you've ever tried like herding cats it's it's not easy they always find a way to get around you and they, if they don't want to go in that direction they're just not gonna they're gonna find a way to get around and, and you know twist or whatever and then teenagers good lord snarkiest little shits twist your words like play out just to you know or act up just to you know prove a point or whatever it's just it's a fucking nightmare and it doesn't like i'm not talking about raiding uh leading a guild full of actual teenagers i'm talking like even adults <laughs> they're just oh Oh, it's not. It's not worth it. It's so not worth it. I will never raid Mythic again unless it's in like a pug group or, or like, you know, Perky Pugs or something like that because it just. Good lord, no. The elitism and the dickheadedry and just all that crap, it's not worth it. I am, don't get me wrong, I am sure that there are Mythic guilds out there who are wonderful to work with and who absolutely get along and they just, you know, they really love playing together or like, I'm sure there are, but the vast majority of them just do not seem to be. So I just, no, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I feel that though, drama. I feel that. Uh, kind of view Dark Souls as a rhythm plus puzzle game. Figure out the best way to combat each move and execute that as good as I can. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's kind of like raiding, hey? Just a few more buttons. Um, um, yeah, generally not a great idea to drop like celebrity deaths in Twitch chats, just as a heads up. I don't know who that is. Um, maybe I've had my head under a rock. I don't know who that is, but like if, if you got someone learning about the death of somebody live on air kind of it's not a nice experience so generally that those kind of things are better to put in discords and stuff so that people can you know read and recognize and, and potentially have a moment of grief in their own private little thing just heads up uh only first since everything was to kill you only if you get good food right exactly Streams, weeks and weeks, where everyone was trying to do it. Yeah. Yep. Cats equal furry liquid. Yes, they are indeed furry liquid. To get blue for my cat. Egos and raids are crazy. They really, really are. They, well, I should say they really, really can be. I'm sure that there, again, there are guilds out there where it's not like that. But I doubt they're recruiting because they've got their team. <laughs> <laughs> um... An ATC guild it's not like that it's getting really tiring yeah i tend to just kind of go either with friends who are raiding um or like perky pugs because it's just not worth it's just not worth an 18 year old son i can test it teenagers, but look we were all teenagers at one point we can all attest to being ourselves like we know it we know it
Mm -hmm. The last couple of years, I don't think I'm shocking when anyone of any age dies, honestly. There's just been so much death. You know what I mean, Chilef? I promise people think they're better, so leave and make another guild and fall behind in Prague. Yeah. <laughs> Slow and steady is so much better than like blitzing to server first or whatever. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> I didn't do that. It's a terrible team to confirm, M A hole. I was absolutely not the nicest teenager. To my parents, at least. New girl thought it was pretty chill this year to read off college drinks be made. Really uncomfortable. Ask them to stop. I got laughed at. Yeah. That's not okay. I have found that in in circumstances like that, it's usually like one person who's an asshole and 20 people who don't want to rock the boat. And so there's like a whole last book about it called, I think it's called Don't Rock the Boat. But basically, if you've got a boat rocker in a, in a group of people and everyone else is trying to steady it, and then you come along and instead of trying to steady it, try to rock it in the opposite direction or try to get rid of the boat rocker, all of the steadiers will turn around and like throw it all on you instead. Like, you know, this is how it's always been. Just let us keep doing what we're doing. This is what we're comfortable doing. When in actual fact, they shouldn't be comfortable doing it. They should be calling the boat rocker out on their shit. But, you know, people, a lot of people don't like conflict. Hmm. I made the blunder once telling my guild rate group. I thought of them as acquaintances and not friends. Yeah, look. Look, even if they felt the same way, like, you know, when you when you really think about it, are your guildies like if there is a and if there is a guildie who this is who this does describe, then that's great. That's perfectly fine. But like, if you if you actually like if there if your guildie is a person who you go to when there's stuff going on, like when you reach out to them and say, hey, I've got this thing going on, like this is this is really stressful, and you reach out to talk to them or vent, or you hang out with them outside of raids and you you know you do have gaming sessions or you just all sit in Discord shooting the shit and all that kind of stuff, then those are probably friends. But if they don't, are they? Like are they actually your friend? Like there are there are people in chat in here who riff off with each other and stuff like that. But how often do you talk to them? Are they do you reach out to them in a DM in in Discord outside a stream? Do you like or or is it just like you're really happy to see them when they, it's like colleagues, you know? You might re be really happy when you're rostered on with a particular person. But you have nothing in common. Like you just you hang out and you get along really really well while you're at work. But you don't do anything outside of work. Outside of what you're doing, like, you know, when you're at work and you're talking about stuff, most of it's really, really general. They might, you know, give you a, a few deets about their life here and there, but it's not super involved or whatever. They might, they're more than, if they feel like more than a colleague, they're not just a person you work with, but are they actually friends? People, people do define friends quite a bit differently to others, though. Like, obviously, everyone has their own definitions of stuff. But it's really kind of... And just because you define them as a friend, do they define you as a friend? Or are you just this person I work with? You know, it's kind of... But when you, when you expose that, when you call that out, and you say it, people don't like it. Either because they thought more highly of you than you thought of them, or because they don't like being made uncomfortable. Or because they think it means you don't like them, which obviously is not always the case either, but... Mm. There are not enough words in the English language to describe all the different types of relationships you can have with a person. There just aren't. They just aren't. Mm. Former guild leader tried to break my boyfriend and I up because she didn't like me. 
Um, I had, I was in a guild with one of my boyfriends. And, um, we broke up. And he left the guild. Explosively, might I add. I wasn't online at the time, I'm pretty sure I was in uni class. Um, and when I got home, all these private messages on the forum from the guild leader saying, let me know when you get home. I want to talk to you in vent. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit, here we go. Back in the day of Ventrilo. And I jumped in and he said, so, that person, uh, your your boyfriend, has left, has left the guild and said quite a few things as he went uh, that he actually didn't leave. I ended up kicking him and I was like, oh. He said, are you going as well? I said, no, we broke up a few days ago. And he's gone, oh good, let you know, I never liked him. He was an asshole. I don't know what you saw in him. And I'm like, yeah, me neither. <laughs> and then eventually like one by one, all these other people in the guild jumped into vent because they say, you know, we moved into out of the officer chat, whatever. Um, and one by one, these people were joining like, what are we talking about? Oh, such and such. And they were like, yeah, he was an ass. It made me feel really better, like, two, three days after a breakup, can I just say. Oh, uh, I still miss those people. The the guild leader, that particular guild leader, one day logged in, uh, long after I'd left the guild, logged into WoW, um, said, I'm leaving, in guild chat, nothing except just, I'm leaving, transferred the leadership to one of the officers, and then left the guild. And the character hasn't logged on since. So no one knows what happened. And that's really sad. And I really hope he had some of the most incredible stories about his... He was a fair bit older than the rest of us were. Um, at least that's what we kind of gathered. But he had some, some of the most amazing stories about his life and experiences that he'd had. Um, and I, I, on several occasions, did sit in, in Ventrilo, just listening to him talk about his life for hours on end, just playing WoW and, and listening. Um, he gave me so much great advice as like a, a 17 to 20 year old. Um, and uh, if I had the chance to, to speak with him again, I would, I'm actually not sure what I'd say, but I would be exceptionally appreciative and I would do everything that I could to make sure I didn't lose contact with him again. He was a really, truly incredible human. And I hope that he's out there kicking ass and taking names somewhere. Uh, people will just follow along, shakes things up, even though it needs to stop. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Often, though, it is only one person that poisons the whole batch. But the thing is, the whole batch is then poisoned. you got to throw the whole thing out, you know? Ooh. Uh, Mr. Good Times are rating, spill my guild and miss, my guild and early mid legion. Small group of people I know, especially the healers, love, 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 HBS fighting with them, having our own little... I won that fight. Well done, I'm winning the fight. So much fun, I miss it a lot. There are a lot of fantastic sides to reading. Absolutely. I could joke at these people with disabilities, and two minutes later someone used the hard R word. Like an hour later, four to five people using the word. Yeah, it is a joker in, so already looking for a new guild now. Yeah. Sounds like a plan purse. That's just not... Yeah, that's not okay. Increased steps are way too much shit. Easy boo to win! Oh no. Oh no. I think they thought it meant I didn't like them. Yeah. Yep. Well, people hear acquaintance, and so many people kind of, like... A lot of people don't use the word very often, and so it's kind of... And then other people use the word friend to say people I like, you know? No, I use the, I use the word acquaintance a lot when I'm describing people. Uh, I have a very, very, very small circle of friends. That's the way I like it. Um, I just, I'm extremely low maintenance and so many people don't seem to get that. Like I can reach out to a friend who I haven't spoken to in three months and I was like, hey, how are you? What have you been up to? And it's none of this, how dare you not talk to me and blah, blah, blah. It's just, hey, good, how are you? And God, it gives you so much more to talk about when you have three months worth of life stuff to catch up on rather than like, you know, seven hours. But um, yeah, I'm extremely low maintenance when it comes to that kind of stuff. And um, there have been many people in my life who haven't understood that. 
and so they've decided that means I don't like them and they've left. And that's, look, that's okay because they deserve to be loved in the way they want to be loved. And that includes uh, like platonic love, friendship love. Um, and so if I wasn't able to give them what they needed out of a friendship, then they have every right to find another person to be friends with. And that's, that's okay. Um, but yeah, I do, I do have a couple of like very select few people. Like I do consider like true friends and they are awesome humans and I love them a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, I, I have a lot of acquaintances, <laughs> like a lot of acquaintances, people who I get along with really, really well, but I just don't really spend time with at all. Like if, if we're going to the same, like, it's like, Hey, are you going to that meetup? Hell yeah. We should absolutely catch up. Yes. Yes. I'll get you, like, you know, I'll buy first round or whatever. Those kind of people. I, I wouldn't call them friends. Personally, I mean like in general conversational context or whatever. Yeah, sure. Why not? But like when I'm really drilling down to it I wouldn't call them friends because like it's kind of it's that friends of convenience type of thing We're both here at the same time. We know each other. We get along. Let's let's go. Let's you know, that's that's it sort of thing um, But yeah, I, I do have a crap load of acquaintances Mmm <laughs> vent I know right Screw team speak or mumble vent was where I was at Smite claim with an X once? Oh dear. <laughs> well, yeah, right. You know who they were talking about, too. Oh, wait, actually. No, that was a different one. It's happened a couple of times. I've dated some assholes. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say to Jas, you know who was talking about, but I actually, I don't think you do. Um, I, no, that was, uh, that was a couple rounds prior. Um, yeah. By the sun. <laughs> Shapeless, thank you so much for the sub. I hope you're having an awesome night. And enjoying the uh, the banter. No, I'm gonna do some I also doing that. Girl leads no. Said they know, don't care. Someone's right, yeah. are amazing. I thought I hope from them too. Nice to hear things like that. Yeah, absolutely. It all depends on the kind of relationship itself and how it ends. Kind of makes you feel seen and heard. Went through some bad shit because the ex though. To hear others say he was trash. Yeah, there were there were a lot of. It wasn't. There was no kind of abuse. None at all. Like not like even looking back through everything. Not a single category of abuse. There was just a lot of shady shit. There was a lot of flags that. Um, probably should have concerned me, um, but didn't because I was young and I didn't have experience with any of that kind of stuff. Um, but once we broke up, all that stuff that was happening, like under the under the radar kind of, it all came out in the open and he got in himself in like a lot of situations. Um, but yeah. Like, I honestly still feel like he was a really lovely guy. He was just dealing with a whole lot of stuff, like a whole lot of stuff. And I was not, as a as an early teen, uh, late teen, early twenties person, was not equipped to handle it or to help him handle it. No hard feelings. There was at the time, of course. I'd just been dumped or broken up with, but hmm. Most recent guild drama had stolen ballot issues and claimed that they left. So it's just good less good. I had to like for no reason. Someone made a comment about the police also. It was like, well, man, it sort of happened, so I believe it. Oh, wow. Huh. I just figured out with no names. I was told I had to apologize to the person who said it. Ah, oh, good lord. And that is how we know that we don't want to play with those people. It's like, why? Why do I need to apologize? Just keep asking why, see if they can come up with reasons. <laughs> uh, or block them, also an option. Acquaintance is such a good descriptor word though. It is, it is. It's just not enough people, I don't think enough people use it enough to know really what it entails. And it'll mean something slightly different to everyone as well. <laughs> people I tolerate and who appear to tolerate me. I like it. Hmm. 
used words before friend to describe, like, oh, this is my work friend, this is my Twitch friend, this is my god-making friend. Mm, fair enough. So, like, does it mean, like, if you're saying your work friend, your Twitch friend, blah, 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 those are kind of more acquaintances, and then you've got, like, your friends, who are, like, your real-life kind of people, or what's the... Yeah. What's my critical? The my guild friends. Look. Hindsight, right? Hindsight. I don't understand the will of answer to happen, so I believe it. It's it's a sexism thing. It implies that if a woman had said it, they wouldn't have believed it. Um, a group of old well friends I would kill to say hello to again. Over the years, I've become more and more introverted. Don't hang out with people or actively DM people. I can't really say I have friends anymore. Love, love my time here in stream. No, I love this community so much. I hate I've lost all forms of being one-on-one -on -one social, I guess. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Thank you so much for enjoying your time here. I'm glad that this is like a safe place for so many people you know i had a friend once who when i moved towns and used to visit every few months said to be at one point it's so different being friends with you and not seeing each other for ages because there's no awkwardness it feels like no time has passed when you get back together apparently that's not normal that is not no like for a lot of people they feel like they've been abandoned a lot of people who are like higher maintenance need to see someone like at least once a week for them to feel like they're actually still friends it sounds like your friend is just, like, medium maintenance. Like, that's how they- and they've always had friendships with high maintenance people. And now that they're having one with a low maintenance person like yourself, they don't understand. Because they haven't experienced it before, maybe. I'm trying to relabel my content creator friends and call them by what they are, mutuals. We're not mutuals person, we're colleagues. Front up. We're colleagues. We work together. Note, I said together, any of those fuckwits who try to think that Twitch is a competition are not my colleagues. <laughs> but I've I've been referring to to like Twitch like creator friends as colleagues. Because that's what we are. We work together in the same space. So, and we, we, we do, our jobs are slightly different, but I mean, when I was working in a bigger, I mean, even the, the small company that I'm working with at the moment, my job is not the same as the job of the other person who sits, who sat a couple desks away from, I work from home now, so it's a little tricky to explain. But you know, like all of our roles are different, just like we all create different types of content, but we all work, we're all doing work for the same, we're all earning money for Twitch. All, every single one of us is creating content to earn ourselves money, but also to earn money for the company, for Twitch. My colleagues. However, if you prefer mutuals, that does also make sense, because we follow each other. <laughs> and all that. Mm. Our brains are interconnected, good. Maybe. <laughs> I feel kind of uncomfortable with one-on-one -on -one social situations. Group chats, hangouts always make me feel a lot more comfortable. I like group chats too, because it means I don't have to type as much. It means if I hang back and everyone else is talking, it's fine. Because I'm still there, I'm reading that. I don't have to say anything. I'm trying to get better at that though. Because I am a chronic lurker. <laughs> chronic lurker. No learn fear needs, stop dating jerks at leave her in a lurch with a wow guilds. No, I wasn't in a lurch though. I was in a place that wanted, because they were all like, oh, thank God you're not leaving too. We was like, we were happy to see him leave, but we didn't want you to leave. And I'm like, oh, it felt really good. Ah, very, very punitive to herself. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Big same. Even then, I tend to just melt into the background, watch what's happening in a group chat settings. Hard to explain. Don't know how to make and keep friends anymore. Beyond the internet? Yeah, I don't know either. Emote only, only mode. Thank you, Apathy. Because uh, I'm currently five minutes behind on chat. Enjoy your emotes. We should normalize being open, honest, and clear with our expectations. Once and needs in any type of relationship. Like in high school, my two closest friends and I... All had friends outside school, we didn't run in the same circles, enjoyed each other's company at school. I call those friends of convenience. Um, and a lot of like a lot of my high school friends, I was great, I was definitely like I was in that clique and all that kind of stuff. And then as soon as school finished, I've seen I saw them at the reunion. And I've seen like one or two of them, maybe a handful of times in the last kind of 10, 15 fuck, it's been 15 years. Good lord. Um, in the last 15 years, like I wouldn't call them friends anymore. Like, 
they're friends from high school, but they're not like, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> this relationship is just till we graduate and that was fine. Yeah. Women friends for me are chosen family. Hey, Asha. I don't enjoy it often, but I love your feeds. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And don't stress about not joining very often. It's totally okay. We're just happy to have you here when you can be. No worries at all. Always just call everyone my friend. But I know, like, obviously some people are more of an acquaintance. It feels weird to me. Call people about that. Yeah, that's the thing. People have this negative connotation with, oh, no, acquaintance. That must mean something horrible, but it, it really doesn't. It's like you've got different tiers of friends. You've got the people that you'll sit on the phone to until three in the morning when something goes down. You've got the people that you go to first when you really want to check out this new restaurant that's just opened up. You've got the people who the, the group chat is always popping, but you see them once every three months. Like you've got all these different types and, and tiers of, of connectedness with all these different people. The word friend just doesn't cut it. Like, it's too broad. Ah, uh, Grace says, what's hard? Friends, friends. No, IRL and Discord. Once I go to Finny, emotional support. Well, just let's hang out. Yeah, for sure. There we go. Emote only is finished. Um, Four people I can call friend. Truly, they're all enabled via Twitch. Yeah, all of, I'm pretty much all of my friends, like 98% of my current friends IRL are people I've met online. Uh, friends of the band, truly, trust my uh, type people. It's four proven it personally so we can legit have not got the energy yeah right i've never had the energy to make sure i absolutely contact you every single week what no yeah because you're low maintenance like me that's exactly it Leo. a couple years back had two friends i would sit on voice call with all the time would love to sit quietly in the call and listen to them talk and watch them play games i'd chime in but i just love i don't know how to explain it filling each other's space yeah knowing that someone was there on the other end whilst i went about my daily business yep yeah, absolutely absolutely i mean context is talking to like chat about them and, like i love fear we're mutuals i know you'll love her too Aw, that, okay, firstly, thank you for using me as an example, that is adorable. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, like, I'm trying to think what I do. I don't think I'd describe them, I just kind of like, we're gonna raid such and such, because if it's a context of raiding, then, like, you, they know they're a Twitch streamer, because they can't raid them otherwise. Um, I don't know what I say. That's a really good question. Next time the opportunity comes up for me to say something like that, I'll have to like I'll have to pay more attention to how I. But when I'm talking about it to like other people, um, I I absolutely describe other other Twitch streamers as colleagues. Like a colleague of mine did this with their stream, or you know, a colleague of mine has their anniversary coming up, or, or something like that. Yeah, it's trippy. Hey, there's so many words are hard. Uh, person I hadn't talked to for like six months, when they contacted me they were surprised at how I was so willing to be friendly once more and that I'd given them the benefit of the doubt and then the person asked me for money, which I felt is where it was going. Yeah. Maybe. Hey Ollie, how you doing? Brain can be such chaos. Yeah. Found in a million times. What are those awesome lights behind you? Nano leaf panels. They're amazing and beautiful and I love them. They were sent to me anonymously to my PO box by a presuming human. I presume that they're human. They might not be, but I'm not too sure. I can't know because there are none. But they're awesome. I love it. They they do fancy things when people follow or sub or donate or cheer. They're really cool. I like them a lot. No one fear. I'm here tapping up for everybody. Yas. Look at all the emotes. They're so pretty. Maybe these workers watered down the concept of friends. Yeah, I think so. Maybe too. That, that, yeah, you're not wrong. I had a person I met at the workplace, liked her as a friend, felt close to her and a platonic friend, and she... I thought felt the same about me. When I left the workplace, she said she wasn't able in good conscience to keep up with the friendship or interaction level that I wanted, neither was hurt by the separation, but understood. Interesting. At least she was up front and on, like she actually told you. Like, that's rare. Usually people just ghost. <laughs> uh, I've been friends I made through TikTok. We're closer than any of us have been emotionally with other people. IRL, it's insane to feel that closeness with people you've never met. It is. It is, and that's why so many people from like older generations and stuff don't understand because they've never had that, they never made a connection like that via the internet. Don't use words lightly. Physically can't or shouldn't rather due to my disability. I'd hope that translates how I approach breaks in any space people have said are such to me least. Oh, awesome. 
There you go. Someone has used some manner of online service to chat with people. 30 years has been a thing for me the majority of my life. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Hmm. I, um... I didn't stay in close contact with many people outside of high school. Uh, all the jobs that I've had, I've had people that I really got along well with, like really well with. Um, to the point that, you know, we'd go to the Christmas party and then kick on afterwards and spend that time. Like, you know, we, we, like, we wouldn't organize to go out together for something else, but like, um, but it was actually a colleague, like a work colleague from my, my last job who said to me, hey, I had this crazy situation happen lately and it's resulted in me having a spare Ed Sheeran ticket. I know you like him. Do you want to come? It's this many monies. And I was like, yes. <laughs> so that was, that was a colleague. And so I went with her and that was a great experience. But we're not, we don't have anything in common. Like, like on it, like in terms of like outside of work and, and hobbies and things like that, a cup, apart from like enjoying a couple of, you know, musicians or whatever, we didn't really have anything in common. And so I haven't spoken to her since I left that job. But that's okay. Like, I, I have a trail of, like, work friends and all that kind of stuff behind me that I've I've never spoken to again. We've There have been a lot of people who we've tried to kind of stay in contact with and we'll, like, meet up for something and we're like... We have nothing in common. Shit. <laughs> and so every time we'd meet up, it'd just be all these stories about the person who was still at the job telling me stories about people who also were still at the job and I'd be like oh no way really oh that's what's happening at the company oh that's interesting and that's not a friendship <laughs> that's that's something different it's, I don't know what it is but it's something different so like yeah that's kind of yeah uh, Thor, Silver, Elytria, Dunno, Neke, Miko and Kledgy congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit I've also had like I've been streaming for six years I've been, I've been streaming for six years. I have met people through stream who have become very good friends of mine. Um, like actual friend friends, not just like, you know, acquaintances or, or um, what's the really long word? Um, oh, the, the parasocial thing. Um, I'm talking like actual friends with people who I've met because they've come in as a viewer. But the vast majority of them have gone on their merry way. It's, you know, like six years is a long time. And, you know, you get you know, a TV show or whatever that goes on for 20 years or something, but the viewership doesn't stay the same. And so for me, it's kind of like people come in and then they go and then every so often I'll see like uh, someone leave the disc because I've got a, a channel in Discord which shows like people joining and leaving and stuff like that to help us in case something goes bang, someone does a whole lot of spamming, we can find them easily and boot them, right? Um, but every so often I'll see someone leave the Discord and I'll kind of go... Oh. Oh. And I kind of have to try not to take it personally. Because I know people, you know, clean out their Discord lists or whatever, but it's sort of, yeah. So I've, I tend to avoid these days of getting super too close and stuff because it just, I'm a business. This is, this, I'm a as much as this is a part of who I am, this is not me. Um, I I fully expect that after PAX, because we've got PAX Oz coming up at the end of the year, uh, in October, I honestly fully expect that after PAX, there are going to be a handful of people who just don't come back because they see some other side of me when I'm in person and all that kind of stuff, and they're just no part of it. And that's okay. That's okay. Um, I, you know, you gotta try really hard not to take it personally because it's not about me. It's about their preferences or their life moving in a different direction or whatever it happens to be. But yeah, it's um, it's interesting. It's interesting. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm a lot more connection terms sometimes on it. Well, will be a lot more likely. Absolutely. But first, mm -hmm. attack, my pretties. What have you done? I will make you 
suffer. No! What have you done? I will make you suffer. attempt. Resistance is annoying. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, so the green ones disappear. That's nice. No! See what she got to. That's fine. Um, we're really fun about what we thought. Perfect. Love that. That's great. Communication is awesome. Um, obviously, it doesn't always go your way, but that's okay. You know, better off finding that out now than, you know, three years down the track, they never actually wanted to really be friends. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah, for sure. Kind of consider my content creator friends as friends based on if we ever interact outside of having an audience, like in private messages. Of course. Of course. See, I don't, <laughs> I, as in I don't, I don't tend to interact in private messages and stuff because goddamn I don't have time. But if someone reaches out to me, I absolutely do my best to respond to them as soon as I possibly can. And I will absolutely engage in a conversation, but I very rarely initiate. 
um, like very rarely initiate unless I need something like an answer or, you know, saying, hey, there's this event. Are you going? Do you want to go? I've been given this opportunity. Are you interested? It's so, like those kind of things. Uh, often I am not the one initiating and I've lost friendships because of that, because they feel like they're always the one chasing me. And honestly, valid. That's totally valid. Um, those kind of people, I am not like... I'm not a bad person. They are not a bad person. It's not that we don't get along. We're just incompatible. And that is okay. There are billions of people on this planet. There are bound to be people that I am not compatible with. It's taken me a lot of time to come to that and to realize that. It's not necessarily a, I don't like them or they don't like me. We like each other fine. We get along great when we're in the same room. We have tons of stuff in common, all this kind of stuff. But there is this one thing where we are not it's like, you know, if you have someone that's like two feet tall and they need all of their benches and seats and stuff like that to be quite low to the ground so that they can access stuff. And then you've got someone who is seven and a half feet tall. They are not compatible in the same environment. That's not, they just, they have things that they both need that are literally contradictory to each other. So yeah, it's, um, and that's okay. That's okay. Um, so, yes. <laughs> That's me. Online friends are great. Uh, yes, they are. Four guildmates from old days with wonderful family lives and reason, main reason I check into Facebook from time to time. Nice to see they're doing well. That's lovely, Rose. That's beautiful. Oh, speaking of private messages. Saw my phone light up. I need to have a look at this. Oh, did you see Purse? Did, actually, did I post it on Twitter? I think I posted it on Twitter. I don't think it's gone up on Instagram yet, but my, my, my stampy stamps. They're gold and purple. I like them minis. <gasps> they look so good. Oh my God, they're beautiful. I love the white over the colors. Oh my God. They are gorgeous, Percy. You did such a good job. I love it. What is that? What plate is that? Like what, what did you use to do this? Cause I like the designs too. Um, sorry, huge trouble with high maintenance friends in the past. I'm definitely lower maintenance. I still regard people I see every couple months as friends are similar. Me too. Me too. I've got friends I haven't seen in literally years. Uh, I don't consider her a friend, which is healthy. Uh, she's an acquaintance. Yeah, probably less than that because I don't know much about her. Trying to have a deep relationship probably wouldn't be healthy. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, definitely low maintenance. Still want that connection, even if it's once a year. Of course, of course. Shallow conversation. Yeah, they're talking about the work stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And that's okay. It is totally all right to have a, a relationship based on shallow conversation about, like, you know, office stuff or whatever it happens to be. It's totally okay. Just recognizing, you know, how deep that connection actually is. Their prob's not your bestie. If you don't, like, you know, if you don't know much about them beyond their role at the company. Maybe their pets' names. Like, <laughs> I actually made a lot of friends through Twitter, which I never expected. That's beautiful, Jude. I'm so happy for you. Awkward ones are when you tell yourself they're gone, they're gone because they switch games or the interests have changed, and then you see them out of the streams. You're like, oh, it's me. Yeah, exactly. Yep. But then I'm like, you know what? I've changed in the last few years. Maybe what they want has changed, or maybe what they want out of a stream has changed, or maybe they liked the old me and she doesn't exist anymore. Oh, it's fine. I know a whole bunch left because I made partner, which is hilarious. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's that whole I only follow small streamers because they are they are the ones that actually appreciate my my support because you as a partner don't need that. So why would you you know you don't appreciate viewers because you don't and I'm like bullshit. Anyone who has been here for more than say twenty minutes <laughs> knows that that's not what I'm like, but. People see the tick and assume, which is great. Maybe I should walk around on packs with it stuffed on my forehead. Like, sometimes <laughs> <coughs> not usually it's them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I can't, I can't change my content to to appease one particular viewer who's going to leave. Otherwise, I got to do what I do for me. And if people hang out, then then that's great. So this was one who has attachment issues, very focused on getting my needs met by others. It's taking a long time. Uh, trying not to push others away, demanding explicitly, implicitly too much of their attention. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've had 
a few friends with attachment issues, like front up, like I know they had attachment issues. Um, and they're the ones who have eventually kind of, you know, out of the blue come to me screaming at me and crying and bawling their eyes out about how I'm a horrible person and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> like, what have I done? And when it turns out, it's because they texted me at one in the morning and I was asleep and I didn't immediately text back. Therefore, I'm a horrible. And I'm like, no, there's the door. We're done. Goodbye. <laughs> like, firstly, if that's an issue for you, come to me and talk to me about it. And then you will very quickly realize that I'm never going to be able to give that to you. Secondly, if you're going to abuse the hell out of me without even fucking telling me what I've done, you can get fucked. Thank you. Like, just no, absolutely not. Um, I don't know if any of my other friends have had attachment issues because it's not been an issue as, as such. It, it's just, you know, either they've handled their stuff on their end or I'm not their person that they've come to or whatever. But yeah, it's uh, anyone who's ever told me that they had those issues, it's always ended badly. Always. But of course, it's just my personal experience. Uh, same, working on becoming a more low maintenance friend, for example, putting my happiness on myself instead of forcing it. Yes! Self progress. We love that chaos. Well done. It's not easy. Well done. Speaking of inflating, initiating, did I I saw! They're beautiful! They're for Easter. They're gorgeous. I love them so much. I love them so much. Did you have. You had stamping stuff on your, um, what's it, didn't you? Your what's it. You know what I mean. Throne. On your throne. I remember seeing plates on there, I think. Or maybe there were st stickers. I'm certain. <clears throat> so. Oh my god! I'm your auto host at the moment! <laughs> I'm like, this is not my channel! What the fuck am I doing there? Then I that's cute. Oh my god. I'm trying to find your wish list. Uh <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Um, ah, because I meet other people, I'm like, interesting person, nice person, I must hold on to you. Sometimes I want to spend a lot of time with the person, even if I just met them, trying to cut myself off. Passing casual contact. One of these days I come over and you can do my nails. A disaster when I do them myself. It's all a matter of learning and practice. Like... My nails, I, I'm going to say, my nails look awesome. I really, really like the way they've turned out. They did not always do that. <laughs> my first, like, several months worth of, oh, did you get your calendar, by the way, purse? Um, several, several years of, of practice and stuff like that has gotten to the point where I actually like what I can produce. <laughs> I shall call him Mini-Me. Love your explanations. Thank you, Spot. I'm glad. They're a little theatrical sometimes. I always blame myself for the incompatibility, which is totally unfair. Correct, there is nobody to blame in an incompatibility. It is not the two foot tall person's fault that they are two feet tall and need shorter things. And it is not the seven and a half foot person's fault that they are seven and a half feet and need taller. Th Neither of them are at fault. It's just not gonna work. There's no blame, there's no fault, literally none at all whatsoever. You could blame maybe genetics, maybe, but even then, yeah, it's, it is just, it is what it is, and that's okay. It's okay. It's true, I do feel disheartened often in that always chasing thing. Uh, I think also the person who was my wife. I'm very lucky in many, many things. Also, I two people who needed the other to fill their voids that worked for many years, but it also eventually stopped working. Yeah, it can become that kind of almost, I don't know your situation but I know other situations that have sounded sort of somewhat similar. And I know that some of those have ended up being like a toxic codependence type deal where they cannot be without the other person and stuff like that, which is not healthy for anyone involved, especially if one person, you know, needs to have some alone time all of a sudden for whatever, you know, maybe some massive life shift happens and they just need to be by themselves for a bit and the other person can't handle that. And it causes all sorts of kerfuffles. But Excuse me. I think it's it's a very delicate balance in a in a rela in any relationship, be it romantic or otherwise, in you know wanting and needing the other person there, but also not like being able to be together 
a lot of the time and spend that kind of time together, but then also being okay with being apart for whatever reason. Like, what if someone gets hit by something and is in a coma for a few months? Like, how is the waking... Obviously, the person in a coma is coping because they're full of drugs, potentially, but, like, how is the awake person going to be coping with that? They, they need to... You need to have some other kind there needs to be an okayness obviously you're not gonna be okay because your loved one is in a coma but in terms of not being okay because you can't talk to them is is a different kind of not i'm i'm trying my brain is it's starting to fail me but yeah it's um we're gonna like 15 dollars set from amazon wonders if they're on amazon au love that um working myself to be less needy and just be happy with my own company yes yeah, find someone who wants the same level of contact as you. To an extent. Um, uh, fifth co-worker's name is Boomer. It's funny every time. My short comment real quick to your old colleague. I, uh, look, I have a fair bit of, I mean, I, I'm 32, so I have a lot of life experiences, but I've also been through, not, I, I've been through some really interesting circumstances. I've also been through some horrible shit. Not as not as bad as some have, of course, and not that it's a competition, but I'm just trying to like, you know, I'm not trying to woe is me, but um, I just, I've had so many different connections and, and different happenings and experiences that um, I'm, and you know, having to talk for a living, I'm getting pretty good at pulling out this memory or that memory or whatever. Just don't ask me anything about anything from the last week and I'll be fine. <laughs> I've heard of that. Yeah, dye the hair purple and it's a super partner. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Billboard that says partnered streamer. That's hilarious. Therapy is in session chat. I am not a therapist. I am not a mental health professional. I am not a healthcare professional in any way, shape, or form. I have been. I, I've been seeing a therapist for. Uh, Coming up on about seven years now, I think. And I've learned a lot from them. Not just one, I've seen, been seeing a couple of different ones at different times. Um, so like, I've learned a lot from them. And I've also learned a lot from like debriefing through my experiences with them and learned a lot from my experiences. So I like to share my, my knowledge and my thoughts and my experiences, but it is not medical advice. Um, if someone hears one of my experiences and kind of goes, oh, you know, that helped me rationalize something else I've experienced or whatever, then great. But it's not mental health advice. I always, always, always recommend going and seeing someone yourself because they'll be able to ask the right questions and get all of the information about you and your life and be able to help you figure out your circumstances a, a whole lot better than I ever could. <laughs> uh, but if you ever do need help, getting access to mental health professionals. Discord is the place to do it. There's a mental health channel there. And what you can do there is say, I need help. Like I need help. And then pop in like where you live as, as close, as comfortably like specific, don't give your address out. But like maybe if you're in the United States or in Australia, for example, like we have states. So giving your state of, of residence might be helpful. Um, or giving a like a general area of where you might be, say Southeast Queensland or Brisbane, like if you're close to a city center, then people are able to help you find resources in your area so that you can connect with those, uh, for example, you know, free resources, like helplines and stuff like that. Um, but we here are not qualified to assist. Uh, people have their own life because I was such a needy friend in the past. I became a toxic friend and lash out. Realized I need to work on myself to be a better friend. Realized I have attachment issues I'm trying to fix with therapy. I love that. That's beautiful, Chaos. It's a really nice way of putting it as well. And I'm, I, like, I hope it's going well. I hope you're enjoying yourself and, and hope you're learning and stuff. Love it though. Good. Pretty bad rejection sensitive dysphoria. Luckily over the years I've learned how to be less dramatic about it. But unfortunately I think I also tend to withdraw more from friends because of it. That's fair. That's fair. Look. It's, it's not nice being rejected, um, but it's like, it's not always you. In fact, I'd say it's more likely to be them. They have made a decision about you, but that's their, like literally, even if it is something about you, let's say they don't like brown hair. Brown hair just weirds them out. And so they've said no to a friendship with you because of brown hair. You're not wrong for having brown hair. 
Like, it's not your fault. Well, I mean, it might be your fault you might have dyed it. But it's not, like, you know, that's not on you for having brown hair. It's on them for not working through their aversion to brown hair. That's, do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, even, even if they're saying they don't want to be friends because of something about you, it might not necessarily be that the thing about you is a negative. They might just not be comfortable dealing with it themselves and that's a them choice you're from the throne beautiful the calendar is wonderful i'm so glad i'm so glad that you are enjoying your calendar it made me so happy <laughs> to buy that for you made me so happy um uh but i hopefully get to see my best friend in november she lives in queensland amazing amazing paint issues my handshake too much to do anything good oh dear there are a couple of tools and, and tricks and stuff out there that people have made. There's like stuff that you can use to hold the brush that sort of negates it a little bit and stuff. I'll, um, I can't remember. I remember seeing some of it on YouTube, but I, I, I don't remember. There are a lot of like accessible things coming out for, um, uh, for like that. So like the beauty arena. Um, so that might help maybe potentially, I don't know. It might not, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, maybe. Uh, is it going to make me happy? Hello, are you trying to say our viewer stream relationship isn't real? I feel betrayed. <laughs> uh, is for your mental health professional? No. Is for your therapist sound command? Uh, if we are, uh, we'd be negligent to try to do that in this medium. Correct, without knowing your history and spending time trying to understand your history. That's exactly, yeah. So a few times I've said, like, I'm not qualified. No one here is qualified. And even if they are, you know, no, I'm not your doctor. No one here is your doctor. And even if they were... They shouldn't be communicating with you via twi Twitch chat, firstly. But like, yeah, you need to you need to actually connect one on one. Perf like, you can do group therapy as well. You can do you know take a, a support person along with you, all that kind of stuff. But you do need to have that connection with that. It doesn't have to be face to face. It can be over the phone if you're not comfortable. It can be via video chat or any of those kind of things. Um, some people, there are some places out there that'll do it via text chat as well. Um, but it's still connecting you to a person who is qualified, who can help you and get to know your circumstances. Um, uh, I've just been lurking, listening to this convo, love hearing it. I want to say therapy is amazing. Yes, I agree. I've been dependent on this for a long time. I'm trouble choosing myself, sort of research and learn about my own wants and needs, what I want to do to be mentally and physically balanced, what I do, what to do if I don't have that balance for whatever reason. I love that shape. That's beautiful. It's amazing. Oh, uh, wait, what calendar? I bought a purse, a calendar called Nature's Dick Pics. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Boom. Follow that. Oh my god, I'm really close to the end of the chat. Follow that link and scroll all the way down to the bottom and all on the leftmost for me. I don't know if it's maybe shuffled around for you guys, but it says Gift of Fear and it has the thing and it's got an Amazon link. Mm hmm. Personally, like ten minutes for each other. I have to go get bandit snuggles at some point in time. Yes, brilliant. Okay, wonderful. Australian, so you are qualified. <laughs> Scoping in therapy years it helps me a lot. Yes, welcome back, Nab. How'd the mage shower go? It's going. It's going. Uh, what was the? I'm sorry. What in reference to Nano? Sorry. I, uh, I I think I've missed that. Good evening, Seeker. How are you today? Actually, show of hands in chat. Is there anyone here who is actually going to PAX Australia? Or is considering going to PAX Australia? I'm wondering how many people I'm going to actually meet up with. Because I'll be there. I've got my tickets. There's that. Oh, shit. I'm not supposed to eat that out here. God damn it. Well, thank you. Brilliant to hear. You are too late, hero. Levia's power is mine. Using her knowledge, my minions will infiltrate the Kiran Tor. And dismantle it from the inside. Mm. Even now, 
My Seiya. Yes, but the bounty bill is paid, of course. Absolutely. That's awesome. Surrender willingly to the Legion. Um, I heard nature supernatural. Oh no, you heard correctly. First, you heard correctly. You must be punished, Jack, my pretties. No. You see where that meteor really what hurts. Have you done? I'll make you suffer. No! What have you done? I'll make you suffer. Oh, she's furying. That's why I couldn't see she was doing Dark Fury. God damn it. How? Mm. I need that more obvious.
When I'm not targeting her, I can't see her health bar. I can probably put her on focused. Maybe. Mm. Do I take it? It's not at all. It's it's absolutely actually not. Last I heard, they were 75% sold out of the three-day tickets, but the Friday individual, Saturday individual, and Sunday individual were still available. Let's have a squiz. Uh, yep. Three-day passes are already available. Uh, still available, sorry. Um, 170 for all three days or 65 per day, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So it is a little more expensive to buy them singularly. Um, but once the three days sell out, the Saturdays usually sell out pretty quickly after because you can obviously still buy the three and make your own three day pass. It's just more expensive. Um, but yeah, nope, they're definitely still on sale. I filled out my influencer registration as well. <laughs> Um, guess it's not, definitely not, Thels. It's not until, it's, so the actual thing isn't until October, so, yeah. I've sold out my social media. Down for meetup, of course. Sister is Melbourne based kind of a twofer. I like it. I like it. Saw back, like, don't mess with accent. Nice. Excuse me. Do you live anywhere in Australia? Totally fair. Totally fair. Because Lord Chopper's talking about meeting internet peeps, RL apprehension that comes with not knowing if people are going to ship him was the joke. Yeah. Look, I mean, it's always a possibility. Like, literally, but it's also always a possibility every time you leave the house that there's going to be a random knife wielding maniac roaming around wherever you happen to live. Like, <laughs> yeah. And it is what it is. Has this boss impressed you? <laughs> no, I wanted to die. Uh, <laughs> the tip, yay! Well, I'm pretty confident Jas and Fear won't shiv me. Yeah, no, I wouldn't know how, firstly. Like, I mean, okay, that's a lie, I would. But, um, I don't like breaking rules, and there's a really big rule at packs of, like, your prop weapons and stuff, you actually have to take them to a place to get them, like, checked to make sure none of the parts could possibly cause any damage to anybody, and... Like, there's a whole thing, so I would not feel comfortable sneaking a weapon into packs. Hmm. Hello, monster. I hope you're doing well. You're killing this boss is not an impossibility. Look, it might be. I don't think I'm going to kill it tonight, that's for sure. But I'm going to keep trying. Might get a pack ticket. Never been to packs. It's a good. It's a good time. It's a good time. I wish I could, but at the same time you switched on and in Australia. Yup. It's the only reason, clearly. Yup, correct. <laughs> Look. Look. I'm just being honest. Deary me. Oh, I found, I've got a couple of uh, new things on the throne wish list because I had a couple of um, recommendations. I had a couple of suggestions that I've been ignoring for a while. Um, but yeah, so I, I went through and approved those today. Uh, and, yeah, that's fun. I did also, unfortunately, have, um, a package get lost. Not, it's not Throne's fault. It, like, they, they had no control over that. I'm thinking, I have a sneaking suspicion that, remember that parcel I got? Like the little package that I got that had the wrong name on it and I sent it back and said not at this address. I have a sneaking suspicion that was actually the boba earrings because it was clearly from a small business there was no identifying so, do you know what I mean? So I feel like maybe I sent back something that was for me but it, they didn't put the right name on it so that's like what am I supposed to do? Yeah, it's a bit sad. Uh, but the the full the cost of the item was refunded to my throne balance so I can use it to purchase something else off my wish list so that's nice no what have you done I will make you so 
I've had really, really good experiences. Every single gift on the throne that has come from Amazon has been flawless. And everything from Yes Style so far has also been absolutely <laughs> flawless. So I'm thinking um, I might need to stick to those from now on because I've had a few, like, a few real big problems with um, it's from elsewhere. Like, there was stuff that was bought before my birthday as a birthday present from Mello that I've been in contact with Mello now as well and Maeve said that their system is flagged as a fraudulent transaction because it's an American address buying something for an Australian address. So Throne has to reach out to them and confirm with them that it's not fraudulent but they're just, they're not. They haven't, it's been months and they just haven't. So I'm... Um, what have you done? As much as I love the service, there's a couple of... <laughs> and I'm assuming, honestly, that it's just because that... Oh, shit. I just accidentally interrupted before I was supposed to. Ah, uh, that's a what. Because it doesn't allow you to... Yeah, she's immune, so... Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, fuck it. Start over. Um... I think they've just grown so much faster than they thought they would and they don't have enough staff to handle what's going on. Um, which, you know, that's not necessarily something a company can foresee, but yeah, it just makes me kind of sad. Mm. Yeah, stuff to put. That'd be a real shame. Yeah, agreed. It seems like Threndy's put some time and thought into this stuff. Yeah, look, they are, they're doing really well at, like, implementing new features that are making things easier to do, all that kind of stuff, but... I just don't think that they thought through the international side of things. Boogie like, they added down. it for us before they really kind of nailed it down or something. I'm not too sure. But, uh, yeah, it's it kind of sucks. kind of sucks because that's your money, you know? You guys' money tied up in stuff that, you know, is sitting in a warehouse at Mellow. Then they won't send it because it says it's a fraudulent transaction. Even though no one has tried to charge it back and no one has, like, you know, all these things, but. New business I for feel all the time. You do not have. Uh uh. Absolutely not. That's entirely too much. Um, I wouldn't be able to stream at the same time. Like, running that kind of a business is like a, a soul thing, especially when it's international like that. It'd just be too entirely too difficult. But, um. Yeah, I, I think, honestly, I think they're doing a fantastic job of doing stuff, it's just they're, um, they don't have enough staff. They need to bring more people on, um, and maybe they don't have the money to do that because they're not making enough off the, the gifts or something like that, then maybe they need to bump up their margins. I mean, obviously that sucks for you guys and stuff, but they've got to get paid. They have to have, like, they have to get paid and all it is just, yeah, there's, um, yeah. Yeah. Knock off throne from throne or regal seat of all the good name ideas. Oh my god, step one has bamboo. Yeah, step all of I'm pretty sure all of step one's uh, underwear is bamboo. I mean, I know all mine are, and I've got the whole women's set, except for the, um, the Valentine's one. Oh, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Greetings. Try again. Go with honor, friend. <clears throat> Let's try not buggering up this time, shall we, Fia? Her knowledge 
Savage, my minions will infiltrate the Kirin Tor and dismantle it from the inside. The inside? Even now, my Sayad tempt your weak-willed mages. Your allies will surrender willingly to the Legion. But first, you must be punished, Jack, my pretties! Why is that taking so long to break? God. Well, everything happening at once, that's the pressure point. I keep... Mm. It's fine, it's fine. 
That's not sad. Ah, uh, is Mage Tower treating you? <laughs> Rather, I'm treating it far too kindly. Uh, <laughs> uh, exactly what you- I know, right? You'd think. You'd think. Oh well. Alright, I've run out of water crumb, but I will hydrate with level 2. Because that's a thing, right? Of course it's a thing. Um... Okay. <laughs> Many deals for a friend. Mage barriers. I've been trying to find because one of the big things I'm not noticing when my um, barrier is done, or like dead or expired or whatever. So I'm trying to find a weak aura that will actually help me see it. Um. Whoa. Excuse me. Uh, we'll see. And then I wanted I wanted to put her on focus so I could see when she was dark furying. You need something? Farewell. Oh, so we have a Oh, um, there's a mount. Yeah. You are too late, hero. Levia's power is mine. Using her knowledge, my minions will infiltrate the Kira Tor and dismantle it from the inside. Even now, my Sayyad tempt your weak-willed mages. Your allies will surrender willingly to the Legion. But first... You must be punished, Jack, my pretties! No! What have you done? I will make you suffer! It's not helping. I need a wig aura that pops up when it's not on. <laughs> not when it is. No! <laughs> what have you done? I will make you suffer!
that imp get missed entirely by the No! What have you done? That's it. She's dark fearing and she's got imps up, so I can't do shit. Yeah, alright. <coughs> I'm just not getting through her health fast enough. Is Mage Tower class locked? There are seven different challenges, and each of them are for specific specs so for example this one agatha is from elemental shaman fire mage fury warrior unholy death knight outlaw rogue feral druid and then there are six other ones that are for their own specific specs <clears throat> yes um i would assume that it's tuned slightly differently yeah but i have not tried nor am i inclined to <laughs> Have fun. I'm definitely trying, Nab. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this is not- this is not working for me. <clears throat> so... Trigger one. So I'm looking at arcane intellect. Trigger combination. Trigger one. Aura. Buff. Arcane intellect. Own only. Unit count. Okay. Okay, so if I... No, 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 I don't want to delete children. I want to add a child. How do... Maybe I have to, like, build an entirely new one and then make it a child. Icon source trigger one. It's going to be called Blazing Area Trigger Aura Player Buff Name Blazing Area. It's missing. Oh, 
Oh, it's huge. Oh, I like that. Okay, good. So when I don't have it, oh, and then that. Oh no, wait, because I gotta get rid of that one. So when I don't have it on, it's there. Oh, it's on cooldown. <laughs> Mind. Uh, it sounds like Kingdom Hearts music. What does? Huh? Do I have food left? I have one food left. Good God. Yeah. Take me to Agatha. This is a- oh we've got a battle! Shit. How long has that been sitting there? Oh God, half an hour. Good God. Oh, shit. Too late, hero. Levia's power is mine. Using her knowledge, my minions will infiltrate the Kiran Tor and dismantle it from the inside. Even now, my Sayad tempt your weak-willed mages. Your Holy shit! Will surrender willingly to God the mission. That's um. But first. Interesting. Attack, my pretties. No! What have you done? I'll make you suffer. The imps come up, but I lose track of whether or not I have a shield. No! What have you done? <laughs> I'll make you suffer.
she's dark fearing and I've just used my interrupt. Yep, that's that's no! it. What have you done? Sixty-five percent is where I always fuck out apparently. Um Bullets. Well, there you go. I don't know what's going on for me. Immediately regret finding out. Agreed. Agreed. Sleep. Is my brain zoom? No, absolutely not. No, 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 no. Totally okay, purse. Totally okay. Uh, give it like half an hour and then check their social feeds. <laughs> Um, I know here in Queensland we've got the Queensland Police and if anything big like that goes down, once everything's done and dusted and the area's secured and everyone's safe, a report, like a very abbreviated report obviously, goes out on their socials so that like people know kind of what's going on and stuff. Um, Queensland Police are really, really good at that. Uh, not sure if the FBI does something similar like a report of things that they've had to attend recently. And obviously it's not going to have super personal details and like what was going on and stuff, but it was, you know, like FBI successfully completed an arrest at blah, 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 or in, in, in suburb or, do you know what I mean? Maybe something similar. Mattel's like, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm really curious how so outside of is literally a noble local navy recruiter. Well, there are all sorts of things that military recruiters can do that are dodgy, but not many of them would require the FBI. Unless it's like. Do the FBI over there help in, like. Because I know that. I know that military often has their own justice system like they have military court and stuff like that if it's for but do they get assistance from like local law enforcement or uh fbi or something to actually make arrests to begin with before they go through the the justice system in in terms of military or like if you know any of that i don't know maybe you would maybe you wouldn't but yeah you better be cool enough to make an episode of NCIS about <laughs> God, I I haven't watched it in such a long time, but I used to love NCIS. Like one of my favoriteest shows. Not even kidding. I don't recommend you Google FBI Navy recruiter. Just saying. Could be military secrets. But then again, could also be stupid ass posts on Facebook these days. Ugh. Ah, uh, I didn't read the recruiters most of the time. Arrests and military done on base by MPs, recruiters are oddities since I don't hang out on the base as much at all. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Like maybe they've got like local Leo to, to help. You should have it as well in the local Facebook group. You should find out. So <laughs> it's it's car crash syndrome, right? No, because you have if she, she would get tagged. Oh no no, I just did, and the top result was an unpleasant situation, like a really 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 not nice. I think I found out why I don't have SFK. I found a Reddit thread that says once you hit level sixteen, it unlocks. It was supposed to be a year ago. Um, I believe it was Channel actually said that like within five or so minutes of you talking about it last time. Um, my dumbass heard gunshots around. Yeah, but see, you you're you're not you're not a dumbass person. You heard them, and your brain registered that that they were far enough away that they would not do any immediate harm to you, and so you needed to get more information to see if they were like moving up the street towards you, if you needed to hide. Like, that's what your brain was doing. It's okay. It's okay. If you had heard them and they were heckin' loud, I bet you you would have gotten under the desk. <laughs> 
Like, do you know, or, or similar, do you know what I mean? Exactly, most people would. Self-protection kicking in. I agree wholeheartedly with that. King's honor, pride. Oh, no, I need food again. Uh, maybe the food's not doing much. Because it's it's a damage. I'm not putting out enough damage. That is that is the thing here. I'm not putting out enough damage. Um... Let's see if... Um... Can I... Actually, no, I'll pop that. Yeah, because I don't need the flame strike at the moment. Let's try that and see. Oh, and some food. Step closer. Have and anything don't ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. I'm gonna get many more attempts in. Ah, oh, battle! God damn it. Really funny if I was dancing this much and then, like, we lost. <laughs> oh, dear. Socket and it's functional. Tria, sorry. Um, Teapot, Dunno, Martin, Heg, and uh, Silver, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. One mower. That ten. One more. Skiller solo. I'm gonna pop down my berserker. 
Excuse me. Make sure you place your units. <clears throat> okay, let's... <laughs> let's give it another shot, shall we? Light be with you. I really thought that maybe I'd be able to get this one done today and then try and hilariously fail at a different one, but I've just been hilariously failing at my main the whole time. So that's nice. That's real nice. You are too late, hero. Levia's power is mine. Using her knowledge, my minions will infiltrate the Kiran Tor and dismantle it from the inside. Even now, my Sayad tempt your weak-willed mages. Your allies will my surrender and my willingly to the Legion. But, but first, you must be punished. Attack, my pretties! What have you done? I will make you suffer! <laughs> no! What have you done? I will make you suffer! Where I die. Everything happening at once. It's at 11 stacks. It's the same point every time. I can't push it past it fast enough. I'm just playing like shit. actually have to build some gear up.
TBC content. It's legacy loot, some TBC bosses have really wide loot tables without even being able to one-shot all mobs in the dungeons. It can be a while to see if drop for low-level character. Uh, for those looking for something easier and more accessible, there are two options. Why? So why going and getting TBC? So overall, the best set is going for Chromie Time pieces. However, Chromie Time requires a lot of time and multiple accounts or friends to be able to farm the required pieces, something that isn't accessible to everyone. The main time sink comes from the fact that all TBC content is legacy loot and some TBC bosses have really wide loot tables. With that, even being able to one-shot all mobs in the dungeons, it can be a while to see the correct piece drop for the lower level character. Why does it have to drop for the lower level character? Why do you have to chromie time? Can't you just go back and do the raids? What's... Hearing the important nature of the scaling nature of the content, Crummy Times allows players to obtain dungeon loot from anywhere expansion until Battle Cries are off. Scaled up to 50. Oh, so that's why. Crummy Time allows players to obtain pieces of gear with many sockets from Burning Crusade and Wrath expansions at item level 50. The perfect item level for Legacy Enchants and Legion Time will be scaled. That's why. Okay. To obtain Chromie Time gear, you must first find 1 to 4 level 44 or 45 characters to funnel gear to your Mage Tower character. It is important that they are level 44 or 45 because that ensures the gear they will obtain is eye level 50. After that, these level 44 or 45 characters must activate Chromie Time in Stormwind slash Orgrimmar. Finally, now you and these extra characters can enter the dungeons that drop the pieces you're looking for since Legacy Dungeons use Legacy Loot. All you need is for them to loot the piece you're looking for, and it will be eye level 50. Turn off experience for the 44 or 45 characters to not risk them leveling during the process. Mm. Yeah, that's... That's not super great. Um, especially, so um, I, if someone was gonna do that for me, I would want to do it in return for them, right? That's that's how, you know, mutually beneficial, yeah? Problem is, all my tunes, all 50 of them on my account are 50 plus. So I can't, unless I get a second account, which we've discussed, I can't afford. <laughs> Um, I, I can't create a second account and level tunes up to 44 or 45 and then help people do this. So I would not feel super comfortable getting people to help me in this way because I couldn't help them in the same way. And that would be not very nice. I like, I like equality. Equality is fun. No, 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 Thor, these are useful. It's telling me to get the best set of gear for Mage for, for Mage Tower. I should do Chromie Time gear. That's what it's telling me I should be doing this, not shouldn't. It's not telling me not to grab it because, yeah, no, it's, it's, I think you've completely missed what we were, what, what I was saying, um, which is fine, totally okay. But yeah, just to, um, yeah, it, it intentionally wants me to get BC gear using a character in Chromie Time. Yeah. So why not do raids? Um, n no, that's not, I don't think that's what I said. I haven't been, spe I haven't spoken about, um, like, I, w I was asking why does it have to be Chromie Time? Why can't I just go back and get a BC dungeon loot? Why does it have to be in Chromie Time? And that's why it's because it scales the eye level up if it's dropping for a 44 or 45 level tune. I don't think I said anything about raids. 
I might have said, why not just do raids? Um, but yeah, it's it's the eye level thing. Yeah. Maybe did I? But I did, yeah. I did. Yeah, that feels like just a touch too much effort to like perfect a set that I'm not going to use for anything else. And once it's done, I'm not fucking doing it again, let me tell you. Uh, all right, crafted items. Crafting Mists of Pandaria PvP pieces is the budget option for the Mage Tower Time Walking Challenge and the overall second best gearing strategy. This strategy consists in crafting many crafted dreadful gladiator pieces using tailoring, leatherworking, or blacksmithing in combination with Relic of the Past IV or Relic of the Past V, depending on the slot. Crafted dreadful glad pieces are interesting for this because while they are one of the few crafted sets to support Relics of the Past, they also have many sockets on them as well. Overall, you want to use Relic of the Past V. I know it's five. Uh, when possible, crafting the pieces because that will ensure you don't lose any base item budget. However, for slots that you intend to use legacy enchants on, you need to use IV instead because losing two eye levels, eye level 48 versus eye level 50, is worth it for the better enchant. So it's all... Crafted Dreadful Gladiator piece uh, gear is created by the three crafting uh, three gearing professions. Tailors create cloth, leatherworks create leather, male ones, blacksmiths create plate. To craft these pieces, you must learn Mr. Pandaria branch of profession, which can be done in your faction hub. Once you learn, you must seek to learn at special material craft. Special crafts are daily cooldown. Current teaches you this pattern to your profession. No way to guarantee which one you'll learn. It might take a couple of weeks to learn all desired crafted, crafted Dreadful Gladiator patterns. Right. So I probably won't... And then there's Legion. Let me confer with my sources. No. No. I should briefly in a why not question we're reading. Ah, oh, okay. All right, cool. For sorry. Look, I I think at a speed of about seven or eight times the speed at which I speak, which is already pretty bloody quick, and my memory is trash, so it kind of like you know, think about um, have you seen like the old school like the little ticker tape things? That's kind of like the speed at which my brain is going, and like once it's on the floor, it's gone. I don't remember. So. <laughs> So my sincere apologies, um, but thank you, thank you for doing your best to answer a question that I did not remember that I had asked. So <laughs> I am fucking hopeless. Am I not? I'm hopeless. Oh, good lord. Okay. Um. And then any piece from Legion with a random socket will be good here. Prefer pieces with the best stats for your spec. Best way of grinding Legion gear for the Mage Tower Challenge is running the Legion raids. As with modern raids, you can run each raid up to four times to try for the pieces you're looking for. One in LFR, which you can queue for in Dalaran, Normal, Heroic, and Mythic. All difficulties for every raid drop item level 50 gear, with an exception of Antorus, which drops item level 52 and 53 for Heroic and Mythic, respectively. Um, also use the links below for a list of all possible drops per slot. Then there's Siege of Orgrimmar and Throne of Thunder. <clears throat> and then crafted legion legendaries and then trinkets pretty sure I have a Baby tune da 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 baby tune na 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 I think the crafting's probably gonna be Baby tune da 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 I think the crafted gear is probably gonna be my best bet. Let's have a squiz at my rogue and see what she knows. Taking bets, what is the chances that she knows literally nothing that I need? Very high. Effort weapon for one thing, correct, correct. But it looks like, I. Oh, that's why I was honestly like, I'm not gonna put all this bloody gearing effort and stuff, but now I'm thinking maybe I need to. I'm only getting through to phase two like a couple of times, uh, which is not which is not really good enough. Um, that's okay.
I've put in more effort for mounts before. Refer Heartbreaker. Managed <laughs> might be expensive though. Mm. Yeah. I am going to assume it's really, really bloody expensive, but I will, I will absolutely check, you're right. But if I can learn it on, um, if I can learn it, then that's... And this is just for Mage Tower in general, isn't it? Yeah, it's just gearing. So I could use this same crafting thing for all the characters I need to do, uh, which is good. Um, so if I can learn, if I can grab out my my leather worker, my uh, my blacksmith, and my tailor, and just do their stuff, like do that daily cooldown every day until I get all the patterns, and then make them up for as many tunes as I need. Um, Right now, since it just went perma unlock, yeah, yep, absolutely. Soaring spell tome every mage shall challenge at least once. True of towers towards a new mount, uh, soaring spell tome, but. Oh, and there's an achievement for Feet of Strength, sorry, for Tower Overwhelming. Tower Overwhelming. Alright, so a tour of towers. I wonder what I'll actually need. Oh, so it was mists, it said, yeah? Ah! Oh, guys! Um, so that's going to be the, that's the warlock one. Priest? That should be mage. Oh no, two priest ones. Oh, there you go. And then mage. So I can make it. It just takes windwall club. Are you kidding? <gasps> Phenomenal. Okay. And then relics. That's the problem, is the relics. But it looks like I have most, if not all of them. Oh, that's not too bad. Embersilk cloth and penumbra thread. They're, like the embersilk's pretty easy to farm up as well as, and the penumbra I can just go buy. Okay, cool. So I can craft those, and I have a fair bit of the uh, stuff I need. So that's nice. All those patterns that use. I can't help whenever you do the thing and put the stuff on the edge. If you want to, sure. It'd be a great way to make some coin. Um, so you work it at least. Brilliant. It's most definitely good. Yeah. Okay. So I'd need. Okay. So that's one. It's a V. I V V I V I V I V. So that means I'd need I have lots of options here. Oof, no, that shit's expensive. Mm. I reckon I do the So I'd need ten ring cloth. For the IV, I've got one, two, three, four, five. So twenty-five mage weave. And then five by eight. It's forty penumbra. Plus the two times twelve, which is twenty-four. Oh, which makes it 64 for number. Okay. I'm 
gonna shoot you. Alright. Yeah, I don't have either of those on fear, but I have them both on Melissa and Repressly. as well. Okay, let's hop off here and I'll switch to repress leaf first. To grab the cloth. And Professor from Mists, it was Wind Wall, wasn't it? Isn't this exciting? This is really interesting. It's because of the gem slots, right? Of those gem slots. So what gems am I sticking in there? I think my trinket should be okay to just stay. Um, Garrosh heirloom weapons. I'm really I got, I've got the war staff, so that's gonna help. Okay. Uh, right. So this is my. Blacksmith, so I need to grab some cloth out of her bank. Greetings. Ten of the room cloth, please, and thank you. Yeah. And twenty-five mage we. Oh, good, I've got all that too. I don't have any wind wool on here. Goodbye. I wonder if that's all on the Hey, congratulations! Well done. Send me all. Ah, there you go. Enchants, gems, and consumables guide. So there's a completely separate guide for the the enchants and gems and shit um where am i going oh hydrate uh, i don't have any water left but i have my tea much appreciated but stretches in my queue as well apparently that i didn't notice before At least before I even think about trying with the other characters, I'll know to like do the stuff. So Arcane Mage has to do the God Queen's Fury. Frost Mage does thwarting the twins. Might be easier to try to learn Frost than trying to play on an alt. Uh, fuck. 
Uh, is there stuff really needed for mage towers that just make it easier? I think it makes it easier. I think it just makes it easier. However, some of us aren't skilled enough to do it without the make it easier stuff. I've been bashing my head against this for five and a half hours. Um, and I did it successfully in Legion with not this many attempts. Uh, as a as a fire mage back in Legion as well. So I had the same same things, like same spec, same challenge, everything. Um, and I, I've either, like, my autoimmune condition has made me shit, um, or I just, I, I don't play at the same level anymore or something, but I was pretty bloody casual towards the end of Legion anyway, so I don't think it's quite that. But yeah, it just, it feels a lot more difficult than I remember it being, but that's okay. You know, having, having wicked challenges in game is a good thing. You know, it keeps people engaged and all that kind of stuff, and I'm having fun. I've just, I've gotten to a point now where I'm consistently getting to the same point and wiping consistently. And it's about 15% prior to a phase transition. And so I'm like, right, I think that, like this is now, this is to the point where I'm just not putting out enough damage. So I need to optimize myself a little to, to put out that damage, um, which is why I've decided to go for the, the crafted year and stuff like that. But each each individual will have a completely different experience. Uh, you may well be a, a good enough player to not need the, the assistance from your gear and stuff. And so I definitely recommend you give it a go and see how you go. Maybe not for five and a half hours like I have, but at least a couple, you know, maybe a couple of really good hours of, of pushing it and see, you know, learn the thing and then push it a little harder and all that kind of crap. And then if you're finding that you are like me, failing at the same point repeatedly, then maybe it's a time to go look at some other help, right? Outside of just consumables. Um, it's time for, for gear and stuff like that. But no, I don't think it's necessary. I just think that for me, it might be. And that's okay. I am I am okay with not being as good as I used to be. <laughs> I know some people struggle a lot with that, but uh, I'm casual. I used to be hardcore. I'm very much casual now, and I'm enjoying the game a hell of a lot more now than I used to, honestly. So, individual feelings, you know. But yeah, welcome on in, though. I hope you're having a phenomenal day. So glad to have you here. Uh, I've just chosen Night Fae as a covenant for my healer priest. I feel like I'm turning my back on Vendir. I know the feeling, Zika. When I rolled my, like, my fifth 60, and instead, because I have one of each, right? But instead of putting it in Vendir, I went and put it in Night Fae. I was like... <laughs> that doesn't make sense to this tune, but it feels odd. Yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, the funniest thing right before, um, you know, during around the launch of Shadowlands was the, the meme of like, you know, Night Fae DK. And you've got this dude with like a big heavy, like a cosplay heavy sword and the helm and all this plate and everything. And then a pink fucking tutu. <laughs> Just, yep, exactly. I never done the Mage Tower, so I would know, fair enough. I, I would definitely recommend if it's something you're interested in, give it a try, give it a go. Have a read, there are, um, there are guides for like different classes and stuff. Skip all the gearing recommendations and stuff and just jump to like what actually happens in the fight. Give it a try, <laughs> excuse me. And once you feel like, you know what, I'm doing the right thing, I'm not making too many mistakes, but I'm also not getting where I need to get, then that's, yeah. Yeah, it's it's like, um, there's a, uh, you know, people uh, with raiding in particular tend to min-max themselves a whole lot. Like they'll go out and get, you know, the the perfect, perfect gear and they'll, They'll run this dungeon 101 million times to get the trinket that they want and all this kind of stuff. And, and just this teeny tiny min-maxing and perfecting of all their gear and everything. Um, and it, it's it's not necessary. Um, it's, it's not. Like, realistically, it's not necessary. The only time it becomes necessary is if you're getting to... What is this? Oh, I broke the weak aura. If your group is getting to the, the enrage. If you're hitting enrage and everyone is still alive and no one has made any mistakes and you're hitting enrage, that's when you start looking at min-maxing. And that's what I've done. I'm hitting the same point. She's got 11 stacks of damage from the, the killing the imps. It's a moment when everything comes, like literally all the different ads come out all at once, and it's essentially a soft enrage. It's designed to wipe me off the face of the planet with all the incoming damage. And that's what I'm hitting. I'm hitting enrage without making many mis like minor mistakes, but not really. 
Um, so that's why I'm like, okay, gear time. Ah, uh, it's, look, it's a time, but it's okay. It's okay. classes balance differently at this one aspect of the game. They are, yeah. There are there are some classes where it's a lot easier than others and things like that too. Uh, and when I say a lot, I don't mean they can walk through and it's a it's a stroll through the park. I'm talking like it's it's marginally easier. <laughs> haircut and Cole's oh, wonderful Connor. It sounds like you had an adventure. That phased at me right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you plus runs on top for the ruby? You feel attacked right now. <laughs> Look, if you find it fun, by all means. I never ever want to come between a person and their fun. But when someone is saying, I have to do this, I hate that I have to do this, it's not fun, I'm not enjoying myself, then don't do it. You don't have to. It's absolutely not necessary. But if you enjoy running this dungeon and getting and that feeling when it finally drops and you get the piece you've been grinding for then by all means, go for your life. And I hope that you have the absolute most fun you've ever had in your life doing it. But if it's not fun, don't fucking do it. <laughs> like, <laughs> Plague, apparently. Fun times when Alan's go off on their own. Oh, the, um, oh, is that one that you had? Uh, my, I had a, a big giant question mark block attached to my cursor. And then I realized that I hadn't added a condition to my blazing barrier weak aura. So it was loading on all of my tunes. It was telling my rogue to cast Blazing Barrier, and I'm like, I can't. Neke, Apro, Trig, and Martin, congratulations on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Uh, we're not doing another battle because it's like almost 10, like bang on 10 p.m. Uh, what I am going to do is show you some crafting. Okay, Relic of the Past. So I've got... I wanted five of those, which is what I've got. And then because we're with guildies. Best way to do it. 100% best way to do it. And then two of these. And then... I have... Crafted, dreadful, gladiators, silk, cowl. Uh, I'm gonna jump into TSM for this because I think that's gonna be easier. So I want the silk cowl, which is the, the mage one. So I'm gonna queue that up. Ah, oh, but I can't then add optionary. Mm, okay. That's gonna actually make me really nervous. So let's not, let's not do it that way. Um, so I need, what's that? Six wool. Gonna need the crafted silk amists. Amis? I don't actually know how to pronounce that, but that's I don't really care. Um probably Amis, honestly. A mice. <laughs> uh so it's that five bolts, so that's gonna be eleven. Uh oh, Legion random cloak with random socket proc. I'll figure that out later. Uh <laughs> craft of guard a dreadful gladiator's silk robe. Mage, so I need six, so that's gonna be seventeen. Uh, wrists, legion random wrists with random soccer proc. Hands, so it's gloves, silk hand guards, which is five, which puts us at two and a two. Waist is the belt. Accuracy, priest mage warlock, cruelty, priest mage warlock. So I get to pick which one I want. Crit haste, crit mastery, haste mastery. Start with haste verse equals mastery and crit. So I want haste mastery, which is this one. Okay, so it's going to be mediation. 
mediation belt, and that's five, which puts us to 27. Mediation belt. Uh, and then... New, new, new. Sorry, I'm bouncing around a whole bunch of pages, and I'm a little bit lost. Uh... Past expansion gear, there we go. That one. Mm, a mice. That's like many mouse. Yee. <laughs> Yee. Uh, legs. No, that's TPC Dungeon. Legs. Legs, legs, legs. Crafted Dreadful Gladiator's legs. Silk trousers. Mage. Six bolts. So that puts us at third of three. And then boots. Booties. Treads of cruelty. Ah. Oh. Oh shit, okay, so what was it? It was haste over verse equals mastery. So that's crit haste, crit mastery. That'll be haste mastery. Oh, no, crit mastery, crit mastery. Why they're all the same? All right, so I want alacrity because that's haste. Um, so mediation belt, alacrity. Boots. I spelt boots. B I O T Y. Good. <laughs> Brilliant. Wonderful. Uh, and then the rings are different as well. <sighs> okay, uh, so. It says Legion Random Cloak with Random Socket Proc. Bugger it. Let's just start with these. So what do I- how many bolts you do I include? You are That's not right. prepared! Did I include the... Oh, honey. Marari, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. How are you? I hope you're having a phenomenal day. How is your stream? How is your stream? Seems about... Do I have That's any right. windwall cloth? I don't. I don't have any wind wool at all. I'm gonna. Have... So what's thirty three by five? Hundred and sixty five. I'm gonna have to farm it up. Uh, and oh, actually, let's see how cheap it is. Slash expensive. Um. Let's look at my shiny buttes. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Welcome on in Lupus and Kitten. Finally get you back. Hello. Hello. Uh, Penny, hello. Stream, how's it going? Yeah, look, it's been a time. Exciting. I've been, I've been mage towering. Be it's old. been a time. That is for certain. For this, oh, that's dirt cheap. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's, let's go with that. We want 165. Um, that's dirt cheap. Too cheap to farm. That would scare you shellless. Hockey day. Make thirty-three bolts of windmill cloth. Yeah, it's it's going all right. Um, I was doing the fire mage mage tower thing, uh, and it got to the point after like five and a half hours that I realized, like, I'm not getting past this specific point in the fight. It's just, unless I get really lucky and get a ton of crits, I'm not pushing past this specific point. It's beyond just me needing to get good now. It's, like, it's time that I actually have to make some, like, appropriate gear and things. So that's, you know, lovely and great and stuff. It is what it is. It is what it is. How was you had a wonderful stream? I'm so glad to hear that. That's wonderful news. Um, okay, so we have a helm plus a relic five.
Or like five. Get a helm. Okay, and then we have shoulders. Crafted deadly gladiators silk shoulder, silk armus. Um, and that's with a relic four. <clears throat> then we have our chest, silk robe, and that's with a five. Then we have our hands, gloves, silk hand guards, because they're mage. Um, and that's with a relic four. Then we have our belt, which I decided on mediation. And that's with a relic four as well. Then we have our legs. I didn't calculate properly. Up. Uh, we have pants, here they are, silk trousers, uh, and that's with a four as well. And then I need the boots, which I walked up on. I'm getting alacrity boots, so I need five. Five by five is 25. 25 more. Quite have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. 20. Mm. Just 25, please, not 125. <laughs> Good news is half of this is new uh, new transmog as well. Boogie down! Exactly. It was alacrity boots, and I'm sticking a four in there. Oh, right. <laughs> Want some of my I'm so pleased with that. I honestly didn't think I would. So to have them all pop up, I'm just like, yes! It's wonderful luck. Wonderful luck. Uh, Alright, so that's all of that crafted. I'm not gonna do the extra, so there's legion stuff for the back, the wrists, etc, etc. There is a neck and a ring that I'm gonna go and see if I've got already. They're both legendaries. Um, but if I don't have them, I'm not gonna... Uh, I might... I probably have enough, um, essence to go and get one from the crafty person. You know, the one up in Dalaran? Um, but we'll see. But before I give it a try, I really need to go to the bathroom. I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> I'm not a paladin.
Alrighty. <laughs> so many cooldowns. Likely. Yeah. All the things you bitch will everyone to have a chance. Yes. There is so there is a like each sound command has like a 60 minute cooldown. But each user also has like a, a minute or two cooldown where they can't do another sound command to allow more people. Like otherwise you'd have one person come in and just and get them all like clear them all out and then every hour you just do you know it's not as fun. So yeah. New, chair, new chair's purpleness. New chair is very pretty. Very on theme for Twitch. Funny that, hey, I was like, I wonder why they picked per- oh. <laughs> yeah. So let's grab those. Um, wait, what's in here? The drinks. Just two segments, correct. At some point, you need to cap them, like the number of sound commands. Yeah, we're we're getting close to that cap if we haven't reached already. Um, another hydrate. Oh, uh, hang on. No, this is. I gotta go to void storage, right? Is there void storage up here, or do I need to exchange specialist? What does that mean? I live to serve more walker. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It is clear you deserve only the best. It's a guild vault. Do they? Is there ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Is there not a... All bankers. So there's no void storage here. That's right. I can just go back to Dell. Because all my le all my legendaries are in void. look ridiculous void storage hello shall we get down to business i don't even know what it looks like why is it not highlighting things I don't actually think I have one, now that I'm seeing everything. That is one that I need, though. Oh, yep. Uh-oh! What does it actually do? Oh, the... Just for the socket, I think. Uh, and then Predas. Feel free to browse. Account mode. Hey, Apexy. <laughs> Good morning to you too. Night seeker. And nice. Of course, not a worry. We'll see you next time, Murray. 
Have a lovely day with the little one. I do have one. It's in my bank. Oh, good lord. <sighs> it's in my bank, not my void storage. I am a... I'm all sorts of things. Need help? Ah. Uh. Life bless you. Alright. So the whole point that I was supposed to do that was so that I can get gems. Um, so I have a meta socket. Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. 9400. And the Shadow Spirit Diamond's not even up. is much more reasonable, thank you. But can I craft it? <laughs> That's the wrong one. If you find anything exotic, bring it to me. I can make both. Can I have my jewelers kit? No, really? Oh. Greetings, sir and or ma'am. Interesting. Uh, okay, so the trade needs to be at least two centuries old. So I'll grab one of you. If you find anything exotic, my jewelers kit's you. in the bank. There's not much point going making all that gear if Go with honor, friend. I'm not going to actually you. stick to it. I'm not going to do enchants, but I'm going to... I'm going to careful go with this. That's the meta. The gems. Uh, okay. Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. Leviathan's eye. Int one is cheaper than good. And they're unique equipped. So I can buy one. And then we have a Kraken's Eye. The int one again is cheaper. One, two, three. So the Saber's Eye. Oh, no, nah, not doing it. Not spending that much. Um, nightmare tear. Piss off. Oh, Jesus. And then we have Queen's Garnet. Good. I think we've hit the... Uh, Three in. So that's like the same as half of these. 
How many, how many slots do I actually, how many sockets do I actually have left? Let's, yeah, Lord. I bought two. That's still open. Stick that in there. Stick that in there. So then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sockets. Have to anything with brilliant to trade needs to be at least two centuries old. Mm, just sharing. Yeah. President saying farm someone made my own. Yep, sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. But Brilliant Storm Jewel has three int. It's exactly the same as a Crimson Spinel or a Cardinal Ruby. Exactly the same because they've all been squished. So like you go up here, Brilliant Queen's Gun, it's four. But if you jump down, there's a one. Brilliant. So there's the Crimson Spinel for 999. But then Storm Jewel is for six gold 21. Two up there though, but you know. So that's two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. We're up to seven, seven, seven. You know what? Let's just use the ones I've got and see how we go. I'll give it another shot and then I'm going to go to bed. Um, and I can farm this stuff later. Farm up some stuff and craft them myself. Oh, I'm just really thankful I had those um, what's it's already. So Queen's Garnet is Catter. Which, I remember epic gems being really difficult to come by in Kata, or am I remembering that incorrectly? Yeah, look, it's not bad. But yeah, there's not many on the auction house, unfortunately. Night, Thor. Thor. Uh, okay, Queen. One of our patrols Garnet. Where do we get the that? Stampede. We must bring them storm blue to restore their spirits. But how? So there's the geodes. Get them by killing Dragon Soul raid bosses. Can't mine them, can't transmute. Has a chance to drop from Crystalline Geode, which can be purchased from Das Narimi for one mote of darkness. In addition, a mote of darkness is obtained by killing a boss in Dragon Soul. Heroic modes and normal. That's okay, I can do that. Easy peasy. God, I farmed Dragon Soul on so many tunes when I was going for the mounts. I can very easily head in there and, and run through until I get enough of the garnets done. Um, Johnson Pants here five days of the dailies to farm. Just read it, there's my GC, so if you're asking. No, 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 totally fine. Um, I'm. Do I have. I have that recipe already. That's the only one I need at the moment. So I can, I can just. Yeah, easy peasy. Actually. I have, looks like I have most of them. They're unlearned. I, yeah, there are a bunch I don't have, but, um, so there's the blue ones. Don't have like any of the green ones. I'm going to be doing dailies for the rest of my fucking life. <laughs> Who else? Who else? But yeah, when I, I raided back in Kata, so I would have gotten... I didn't do Dragon Soul with a raid team, 
but I would have had enough of the things. I'm pretty sure Kata was back when I was actually flipping gems as well, like buying the uncut and then crafting them and selling them to make gold. Didn't I wasn't very good at it, but I got there. I got enough, you know, got enough to get through. But yeah, I've got that recipe already, which is fantastic. Um, I'll just have to farm DS, which I can do easily. Like, that's easy peasy. Um, just have to find the time. You are too late, hero. Let's see how this map, how this, uh, Oh, I forgot to put the Garrosh thing on. That's right. And dismantle it from the inside. Even now, my Sayad tempt your weak willed mages. Your allies will surrender willingly to the Legion. But. But first, you must be punished. Attack, my pretties! Can translocate, I'm gonna kill them. No! What have you done? I will make you suffer. No! What have you done? <laughs> I will make you suffer. <laughs> Oops. But yeah, that's the point at which I usually wipe. Mm. 
so I don't usually get that many explosions already and stuff, so that's fun. Protect me, my children. I will give you the power. It's just lining up with a dark fury, which is impossible to help like deal with. Alright, I'm gonna need to do more work. I'm gonna need to get like gear and enchants and shit like that. I mean I've got most of the gear. Um just not quite all of it yet, but that's okay. Um Yeah. Hundred K gold, nice. Well done, well done. All right, I'm gonna kick off because um, I've already gone half an hour at a time. <laughs> uh, when Murray raided, I didn't want to leave because I wanted to make you guys all feel welcome and hello and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, that's okay. Bad done. Are you having fun? Indeed. Hello, Counters. Welcome back. Um, it does indeed fly when you're having fun um, and focused and trying really hard to get a thing done. That's okay. Look, I semi expected not to get anything done. I, I semi expected it. But look, here we are. And now I know what I need. At least, you know, I need. At least I know what might help. Excuse me. We will see if it actually helps um, later. Keep an eye on Discord. Uh, you will know that I have won when I yell and scream in all caps, THE BITCH IS DEAD. Uh, <laughs> uh, but until then, until then, um, let's do one of these. We have a schedule. Uh, on Friday we're gonna do some Legion time walking. So jump on in with us. Uh, I'm going to cycle through as many tunes as I can, doing one dungeon each to get the, uh, the quest item to get my 500 badges. I'm trying to save up to buy as much stuff as possible. So one dungeon for 500 badges is super high value for me. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, then on Sunday, we're gonna do some more transmog hunting. Uh, Monday, of course, is Mount Farm Monday. And next Wednesday, this time next week, it's Noble Garden. It's Noble Garden. And we will have confirmation from Blizzard what the next expansion is gonna be. Uh, so we're gonna do some egg hunting, which is a super chill activity so I can talk while I play. Because <laughs> um, no doubt we're gonna have a lot of conversation and there are gonna be a few people talking about opinions and things like that. Um, I will say, and I'm gonna say this every day in the lead up to next Wednesday, every end of stream, if you are planning on coming to stream next Wednesday, please ensure you have watched the, uh, the announcement from Blizz or ensure you don't care finding out what's in it from us instead of from them we will it will no longer be spoiler territory we absolutely will be discussing it uh probably in as much detail as we possibly can uh given what they give us in the in the announcement so yeah if you don't want to hear it from us if you want to hear it from blizz highly recommend watching the video prior to attending the stream it's going at, at 3 a.m for me <laughs> so like yep yeah, it's a thing uh, and then, in addition to that, Wednesday after that, that first Shah Farm stream on the 27th, it's going to be a charity stream. We're going to be raising money for a charity called Pank One. Uh, they raise money for pancreatic cancer research. Uh, pancreatic cancer has a five-year survivability rate of 8%. If you're diagnosed with pancreatic cancer today, you would have an 8% chance of living for five more years. That's ridiculous, that's too low. And so we're gonna be raising funds for research to see if we can fix that or at least make it somewhat better. Uh, so hopefully I'll see you then. Um, but we're gonna do raid. Grab your copy paste. Oh, it looks like, it looks like Tack has follower only chat, um, but that's okay. That's all right, I understand why. Um, I was like a banana. 
<laughs> Misha is so rough. It is. It really is. But that's okay. Gonna support Gonna Entertainment. Exactly, Landa. Fingers crossed. And yes, Zalk, I'm gonna deny it just because of, you know, aggression or whatever. But yes, I will kill her. I will. Um, take care. You too, Landa. Working always night. Oh, good. I'm so glad you got to stop by, Countess. I hope work treats you well for the rest of the day, night, whatever. Um, good night, all. Uh, yes, that's... <laughs> Grab your copy paste. Um, if you don't have the Fiamma hype emote, either because you're not subscribed or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, you can still copy and paste the whole thing, delete where it says Fiamma hype, and replace it with your favorite happy, happy, hypey celebratory emote, and drop it into tax channel when we get there. Um, if you're feeling generous, shoot me a follow on social media. Instagram is the best at the moment. Uh, Twitter, if you're feeling that, do it. And I mean, TikTok and Facebook as well, if you really want to. Uh, but Instagram is what I'm gunning for at the moment. I will see you on Friday for Legion Time Walking. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I will see you then. All the love. Bye, guys. <laughs>